it before. <laughs> hey, Stevie, go hire somebody to give me a salad. Jeff wants a salad, but on a sandwich. Like a meat salad. I can't have yeah. a sandwich, sandwich salad. If you we, give me like a salad on two buns with cheese and meat and then take no, off you, the salad. You get the salad then, I can on the get sandwich a, and you take away the bread. in and out has a protein in and out you can get. It's who are like, you? It's just like a burger <laughs> wrapped in lettuce. I can eat that. I'm a guy who lost five pounds on a scale this morning. Okay. I've, I figured out the system though. I know how to break it so that next time we all get the right food. The trick is you order the wrong thing. Ah, I just mm. hope Just that order jalapenos and nobody will eat it. And you're Jeremy always guaranteed it. to get your burger. You may not get jalapenos though. Right. I've never mm. not had jalapenos when I ordered them. Well, they, Sarah makes sure that you get your food because she knows, like, she get fired. Well, Those of you listening to the podcast, we're on the moon. That's not true. Hey, what's up? Welcome to Off Topic. This is Hello. a special episode. We're on the Achievement Haunter Clubhouse set that featured in our upcoming show, Achievement Haunter. Ooh. You may have heard, but it's true. There's no S. It's True. just Achievement Haunter. Singular. Most Even of the people in this, multiple people. in this company don't I know. People in our office don't know. I want to punch everyone in the face who uses the S. Yeah. yeah. I hate Achievement them. Haunter. Yeah. Hate them. Let me delete a tweet. It's a special, <laughs> special place in hell for Jack, people who doing? say Achievement Haunter. The chat up. They didn't bring the chat over here. Uh-huh. Well, but don't play the audio. You can bring the chat. I, I just lowered don't play it down. The audio. I messed up. I, 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 now I'm I messed up. I'm, I'm hey, I just bad. want to say. What's going on with the screen? They were, I assume they were going to pull the chat pull up. They're probably going to pull the chat. They've dipped up. Now you just know. made Every, look Everything's stupid. going to I'll hell. This there. episode of Off Topic is sponsored by 23andMe, Blue Apron, and Movement. So thanks. I'll tell you about them later. This is episode 152. Yeah, I took it. 152? Yeah, it's a lot. What's three years. What is going on over there? I was talking about Michael? Iris We're talking game. about Iris. It's oh, arrived. Oh, okay. Well, the Eric poked through the window. Yeah, I like <laughs> that he said he used the window. Like, we got like, we... Hey, it's our wacky hey, thing for hey, Eric. Oh, hey, we can see his face. Wacky dacky do. And look, a crab. With his wacky cat's phrase. Wacky. You need a fence to cover like three fourths of it. That's yeah. true. Perfect. There's too much of you. Yeah. But for us, it can't be a, a friendly neighborhood. It'd be like an electric High neighbor, fence. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so he poked in with a some kind of alcohol yeah, shot. Yeah. So we just did. We just uh, filmed Awu. Awu for the following Monday, and uh, oh, I forgot the liquid ass. Somebody <laughs> he did. Hey. Thank God. You, you That's time. a real shame. No. <laughs> uh, Z. Where'd you as, leave it? As they were. I'll have Jeremy bring it. Oh yeah. 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 Nah, you're gonna have him remove it. No, I wouldn't do that to you. But he's got to climb no, the no. tree to get up here. It's, it's not be, our office. I don't care. It's going to be tough. Yeah, it's not in our office. It's in their office. Somebody sent this on Olive. I'm sitting here. We can ass out this place. Yeah, Michael, we can ass out over too. there. It's a shotgun. Well, is is it a sh- okay? So by shotgun, it means yeah. You're it gonna blast fires yourself, shot, or do you want somebody like, to blast you? I. Th- it's like <laughs> such a shame that Jeremy's not on this. Because I'm gonna blast you, but it's probably we don't know wife. what the range is. Yeah. Oh, oh, hey there, old it's man. Okay. We don't know what the range is. Somebody get that man some liquid ass. We're good. You to blast yourself. We don't know the ballistic properties of this gun. If you're too close, you may blow your head clear off. I suspect what's gonna happen is alcohol is gonna get all over me and none in my mouth. Probably. So I asked Eric to put alcohol in it, so he put some kind of liquor in it. I don't even know what it is. Don't even know. He might have pissed in it. Did you piss in it? I know. I'm going to guess it's vodka. Did you pee? Oh, here you go. I did, I did not piss in it. Okay. okay. That's all. Poo? Poo poo? Hey. No poo poo. So can you, got, not, you, can you, can we have a rule? We have no. If you're going to come into the house like this, yeah. you have to use your catchphrase. What? Uh, Whack a dack a doo. Hey, whack a dack a doo. Ah, ah. you, didn't, you didn't put Austin water in this, did you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ooh, that'll kill you. <laughs> I'll die. I also realize he's not Mike, so we don't have any shotgun mics. That's today, fine. So I got a no, shotgun. No, gun. my whack-a-dack-a-doo. chest is right here. It's yeah. got audio capture. Well, now, he, also, he'll it goes AR. right through you into your chest. No, no, it's it's cardioid. That is the gun. Oh, now they're giving me a mic. Okay, because the shotgun is the giant shotgun. All right, let's redo all the air stuff. Someone shoot Michael in the head. All right, we need Eric to show up to get a shot. We're going to do it at the top of the show? Your mouth's in your head. My mouth, my mouth, though. He's, my head's up here. Ryan is 100% correct. Wow. Yeah, your mouth is in your head. That's not completely accurate. <laughs> it's your pretty mouth accurate. is in your head. <laughs> this is all head. He's don't, right. Don't make all the way down to here. Eat with, with your head? Were yeah. you saying I have a big head earlier? Or were you saying I'm still fat? <laughs> no, I, I said you're not fat. Because I have, like, a normal-sized head. Because I, I grew up with, I, like, I work with Bernie and Gus and Jack. They have big heads. So My baseball cap size, seven. I'm just saying, like, a, what are you? A huge head. Extra large. Yeah. Next yeah. to you. I don't even know. I have, like, a seven, seven and a quarter max. I have quite a large head. How do we compare? Uh, Jeff's got you. Imagine me with a beard. Oh. Just to compensate. Okay, hang on. Uh, Wait, who's the beard in your relationship? <laughs> Definitely Michael. I don't know. <laughs> 
I have a very was, normal head. Yeah. Just, and just curious too. Just so say it louder. That'll make it more true. Yeah. We're sure that your weight loss isn't a result of like a giant shit, right? Like. Yeah. No. No. Okay. I was just, the result of me stuff. not eating anything that I like. You dropped nice. five pounds totally. in a toilet. The porcelain would crack. Three Keurigs. I mean, <laughs> some after Taco Bell experiences that would beg to differ. You blast me. Yeah. So All I don't right. know. All how right. far away should I shoot you from? That's the question. It was pretty close in the in the photos. Oh, it's gonna get all oh, it's, yeah, over it's gonna me. Get all I'm gonna too. stink of alcohol. Well, why don't I just put it in your mouth? Well, that defeats the purpose. Well, what okay. if it's too strong? You'll rip his uvula right off. Uh, hold on a second. I gotta say something. Like, Michael Thank Jones, you. I sentence you to uh, one shot of fun. What the? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow. It was such a long delivery. It, it went. I couldn't believe how long it went. I, had to, I like went into it. Yeah. It well, was good though. You put something it? nice in it. What, what was, was it? that? I don't know, but it's, it's all sweet. in my eye. It's sweet. It was uh, butterscotch schnapps and oh. DiSorono. Oh. Whack a deck and do. Hey! <laughs> oh, it looks like I peed myself. You got some all over there, oh. some over here. Some went into Jeff. I didn't my get, eyeball got drunk. Yeah. I didn't get some anywhere. No. He did. Yeah. Right, oh, he well, got it all over the iPad. Though. Are we? Are that we good? Are we probably done? just sterilized it. Are we done? It's not show? looking great these I'm glad days. You Thanks for watching, everyone. Achievement Hunts are available this Wednesday for first members. Is yeah, it October thirty first. Fat though. Yeah. Halloween. I'd, I'd lose a few pounds. No, I didn't no, say no, you no, were fat. Thick. I said you had a big fat head. I'm not thick. Two C's. I'm not. Yeah. That's, That's good. Right people now. like yeah. thick. People love thick. People love, people love it. thick. People love it, and I hope you do too. Because you're sitting here. They just keep adding C's to make it better. Mm -hmm. It's fucked up my glasses now. Yeah, so alcohol. If you in, sat between Lindsay and I, like if you're in the middle between Lindsay and I, you would look like you weighed about 50 pounds. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not. It's all perspective. I'm not. I don't. I, I look skinnier standing than sitting. Why are you when dressed I sit, like that? I pool. Yeah. Well, everyone knows that. What's yeah. going on with this? Why are you put together? Yeah. What's up? Classy. Are you trying to, who are you trying to impress? Nobody. It's winter. And yeah. I, because I dressed up nice those yesterday. Those aren't too. bands. No, they're not. I, it's 75 I degrees today. See, all right. It's quite so warm. it's, I, I like to wear long, I like to wear long sleeve shirts and button up shirts and stuff. But mm -hmm. I think short sleeve button up shirts make you look like oh, yeah. the worst, dumbest, I can't, words I can't say anymore because Why? of uh, or, 2018. Or a mechanic. Yeah, or, yeah, maybe, but no, mm -hmm. like mostly you just look like a dipshit. Yeah, uh, if you're wearing them uh, non-ironically, looking, looking around to see who's wearing. Like, yeah, you look like a real John. Oh, raw good, raw yeah. good. There's a guy that wears short sleeve button-up shirts. Like Hawaiian shirts, yeah. though, too. Um, <laughs> but I like, I like button-up shirts. Like, I'm 43. I don't want to look like I'm homeless forever. Or... So, uh, but also, um, I'm going to a nice restaurant tonight. Okay. Uh, yeah. So there was a reason. That the yesterday, I had a spike face meeting, and I wanted to dress nice for the spike face meeting because there was dudes from LA. And then uh, today, I am going to go to a fancy dinner. Nice. Nice. So I, want to, I wanted to dress. Perhaps up. we will see you at our fancy I outing as well. I doubt it, but we're going to. We're going out. Are we going to the same place? I Maybe. Doubt it. I think oh, I know God. where I'm you guys are going. Say it. Are you guys going to the place you guys always go? Uh -huh. McDonald's. Yes. Yep. The place we had. <laughs> the, the place where we had the thing and they have the biscuits. Not that place. Uh, no, no. Fogo to yeah. show. Another place. Ah, uh, we do go to Fogo a lot. I only go there on our. Like it's holiday meal, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know where you're going. I'm also going to a steak place, but a different steak. We gotta, we gotta prep our, our holiday meal. Where's, where, who is it? Would it be Steffi or Sarah who plans our Fogo? Why Sarah outing? at this point? Sarah. Steffi so also. Steffi right just now, doesn't want you to ever talk to her yeah, ever know. again. Yeah, Steffi. Okay? She doesn't want to do anything for you. She doesn't want to look at you. Oh, hey. Well, well who's that? What? Uh, oh, oh. What? I'm sorry, I don't have my microphone. Whack a deck and do. Whack a deck and do. Yeah, here's a damp one too. Thanks. Oh, nice. dude. Nice. 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 of everything, man. Thanks. Use your right hand too. Well, I guess that makes sense. You can catch your right. Throw the left. Yeah. Yeah, I think Steffi's mad at me because I said adults wearing costumes at work is ridiculous. You did. Whoa, she's mad at you because right. she doesn't like you. <laughs> you hit yeah. it Steffi's real hard, Steffi's mad at you because she's too. never liked you. I yeah, disagree with you. Yeah. However, why are you not wearing it on Halloween itself? Yeah. Because today well, is the Rooster Teeth Halloween party. Oh, yeah, that's party. right. I'm not going to that. Well, not yeah, yeah. obviously. <laughs> yeah. Shit, the day we're not going to that. Obviously, we're not going to be there. I do like your witch hat that you made yourself. I, saw I think online. you look awesome. Yes. And I think Alec does, too. And everybody that had the dressed up in the Halloween spirit for the company is, while sad, I think it's very nice. <laughs> also, I thought, I know she doesn't do it anymore, but I think that Steffi got food way better than Sarah does. That is true. Oh, Steffi was way better yeah, at food Sarah's getting. Sarah's horrible at getting food. Yeah, you never get I I wonder, here's awful, what I wonder. Awful person. Awful. Do you think that's a skill one can lose, or do you think Steffi would still have it if she tried to get, like, yeah, I mean, she hasn't done it in a long time. 
it? Is it like, is it like falling off a bike? She doesn't want to come out of retirement. Yeah, it's she, like riding yeah. a bike. That's yeah. true. She's batting a thousand. Yeah. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to like, yeah. you know, come out of retirement. And like, she uh, probably doesn't you know. have it anymore. I think it would probably take someone in a position of authority She's saying your job depends on getting it's food. Like in, it's like in Bottle Rocket at the end when Applejack can't crack the safe. And he's like, I don't know, man. I lost it. I, don't know, I lost man. it, man. I, I lost it. And Dignan's like, y you can't lose it if you never had it, man. Yeah. It's like I that, essentially. No Dude, idea what, what year was about. that? He's talking I about finished, my little uh, like, 93. Yeah. My little I finished Barry last yeah. night. Yeah. Fuck, that's a good show. What did you finish? What? You Barry. know what I'm talking about now, right? That scene between him and yeah. the cop at the end? Yeah. Like, that is acting right there. Yeah. That's fucking Bill Hader. Is fucking dude. Awesome. Barry is a great fucking awesome. Show. HBO, awesome in that. I don't scene. have HBO. I won't he, say anything about that. Did show. he win a Grammy or an uh, Emmy for that? Grammy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He can sing too. He, was, he acted he his last off 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 right into a Grammy. <laughs> there is a. It's a good show, but that last episode is phenomenal. Yeah. Henry Winkler is phenomenal. Henry Winkler is so good. He's so good. Yeah. So Anyway. I saw him at a convention hey. in the green room with us, and I instinctively went, hi, Henry, like, because I, <laughs> I know him as a fan. And he was like, well, hello, but he was super nice. And he asked about Ruby and, like, what we do as a company. Like, <sighs> Took out his wallet cool. and showed you his 75 great, great, great grandkids. Yeah. As he walked away, I went, hey. That's his, the uh, kind of guy. One of, his, one of his sons dated uh, one of the Olsen twins for a long time. Really? Really? Yeah. Interesting. Like, they, for years and years. One of his sons? I don't know. Maybe he has multiple. Wait, or, I wait. feel like they're like 50, his son is fifty Henry, years older. Probably. Than well, one of the Olsons is like Ledger's currently dad? shacking up with a guy that's seventy something. Well, the Olsons oh, are well, older listen, now. oh my god! I just shot Diet Coke right in my eye. Okay, it'll do that. Go on. <laughs> it's hey, when you ride the dark oh, mistress, sometimes you take that risk. Oh. I'll tell you what about. That. <laughs> 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 the dark mistress. Oh. <laughs> we only refer to Diet Coke as the dark mistress now. Oh, hey, right. chat. That's so the funny. Dark mistress of, You're uh, so funny. Is it aspartame? Uh, yes, actually. <laughs> That's so funny. You're so funny. Uh, the thing about the Olsen twins, and I heard this allegedly, this is a rumor though, yeah. uh, they're gold diggers because they need the money. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 They're trying mm -hmm. to date up. So you they know can, they like, were you know, billionaires before they were 18? I believe it. Yep. It's fucking crazy. crazy. Somebody in, oh, where was it? Like Tennessee just won that 1.6 billion lotto? 1.54. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. It was revised down. That's, if you, you know got the, 1.54 billion Do you know what, let me ask you a question. Dollars. And you, if you already know this, yeah. then let me know. But do you know what the cash payout, if you just take the lump sum, is on 1.54 million dollars? It was, 1. It was 4 about, billion it was like 900, it was about 900. It was 900 million. Yeah, wow. It was 900 million? Because I had tickets and it said. It was and 900. after taxes, you're looking at about 600 million dollars there, maybe uh, 550. That'll last you a few months. I was yeah. reading, uh, this is a headline or something, and it's like, if you win, don't take the cash option. You'll lose this money. I was like, I fuck, actually, fuck you. I don't give a shit. Well, no, no, I did the I mean, math fuck. on it just to check. Because when it gets up that high, it, usually cash option, yeah, absolutely go for it. Because who wants to just have like a million a year? Yeah. Uh, no, it would still be $50 million a year, give or oh, take. That's not bad. No. Yeah, but like, what if you just want to blow $200 million right out the gate? Yeah. I mean, then you know, wait, wait four for years. four years. Oh, go into debt. Your gate's yeah. rusty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. take a loan out. Oh, you're, you're plenty of it. people will back you, sure. You're like, yeah, yeah. do you got collateral? Well, I got a million dollars coming. Isn't bad. The, the person who won it is in South Carolina, I believe. Oh, okay. I hope that person, they were saying that person might maintain anonymity. I hope they do. Yeah, absolutely. There was just a lawsuit that went through about that. They're going to buy the state. Yeah, South Carolina. Say, is actually, you could buy yeah, South Carolina, Carolina is one of the few states you can stay anonymous. You should absolutely stay anonymous, uh, if at all possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That, that kind of money crazy. will ruin your life and every relationship you have. Have they you said it's been it claimed as secret yet? as possible? Huh? I haven't we heard it's been claimed. It, it was weird that it got so huge and then someone won it, but it was complete silence as far as most news outlets that I was looking at. Normally they're like, someone got it. Yeah, it not getting one was all over the place. Speaking of like, people headline, in the headline, news. Headline. They arrested somebody in South Florida today. Yeah, yeah. connection with mm -hmm. the bombing. Yeah, Which and is they funny. had a van, and they covered the van in a tarp, and everybody's freaking out about what they're, what was on the van that they don't want us to see. One of my favorite parts about that is, is so they think it's this guy in Florida that was sending the bombs. One of the bombs on the return address, he misspelled Florida. Yeah, apparently all of he them. lives there. Well, apparently all of I mean, them. The return address was Debbie course. Wasserman <laughs> Schultz. Yeah. yeah, like, and that was the return address on all of them that, that went out. So yeah. some of them had the wrong address and ended up in Florida, going back to her, and that's how they got found. God. So, but apparently I misspelled Florida. Brian, it's Florida. It wasn't even close. Are we Slow rider. He missed it by a lot. <laughs> Y'all haven't seen. I don't remember, but it was like leet speak almost. F L A U R. I don't know. Do you think that? I don't know how he still has fingers Ryan, with this. When the cop showed up, he was like F M L. E D. I'll tell you how he has fingers because none of the bombs went off. Y'all haven't That's seen season two of Atlanta, have you? No. no. There's a thing they one. do. There's an episode called Florida Man, uh, where they turn F Florida Man into like a horror character that like like <laughs> for black people they're like scared of the. 
crazy white dudes in Florida because all the news articles start with Florida man does X. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. And it's like he's their boogeyman. Like, yeah, yeah, he's their boogeyman. Is like this this like generic white guy in Florida. That's funny. <laughs> I was talking to Ryan recently. We were filming, not the most recent achievement hunter we just did, but the one before that where we traveled mm. a little bit. Okay. But we were talking about growing Missouri. up in the we South. Yeah, we did say Missouri. Did okay, we were in Missouri. Was, yeah. 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 We, we, we're not going back there. So we no, okay. Cool. We're not. We're, hide, we're not hiding where we've been. <laughs> okay. so pretty we much don't show up when we're there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we don't talk about. But once we're done at that location, you can talk. Like Daniel, I already mentioned. Like we showed pictures of Pioneer Village in Gonzales, Texas yesterday. Oh, okay. Story thing. Yeah. All right. Instant story. Yeah. We're talking about growing up in the South, and Ryan was like, "Wow, you've experienced a lot more like crazy shit growing up in Texas." Texas as I did in Georgia. And I was like, well, the motto for Texas is basically, at least we're not Florida. So, <laughs> Which is yeah. pretty much the motto of every state that, including yeah. Florida, because... <laughs> They're like, at least we're orange. <laughs> I'll say this. I lived in Florida for a lot of my childhood, and then we moved back to Alabama, and the transition to Alabama, I was like, these motherfuckers are backwards. Like, Alabama's way worse than Florida. Florida gets a exactly. bit of a battery. What part of Florida were you in? Lindsay, everyone uh, I lived says in Jacksonville, Florida, Florida, and I oh, lived cool. in Pensacola, Florida. That makes Florida. sense. Florida. Yeah. Pensacola. I lived in Pensacola for when I was very young, and then Jacksonville for a good portion of my childhood. Hmm. So, do you think the news of Alabama Man just doesn't make it national? They're She'll better at it. suppressing it, or? <laughs> yeah, there's, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> there's just no news outlet Bye. there to report it. Uh, it's good seeing you. Lost yeah. Lindsay. What did you take? Gotta fix no, my mic. mic Stay sweet. Oh, the mic's Every no good. Oh, it was the Diet Coke. It attacks. It'll yeah. do that. People mentioned the Diet Coke was awful with her mic. Nice. So, uh. What happened? Sounds choppy and fucked. Let's That's all good. The hell no, Lindsay just sounds like that. Crackling yeah. like cereal. All right. But uh, yeah, I mean, if, if, if Alabama was that bad, you'd think that there would be constant reports from Alabama. Now, granted, having lived in Columbus, which is right across a small river from Alabama, we lived in fear of people from Alabama. Oh, yeah, as you should. Yeah. Especially a license plate. <laughs> An Alabama license plate was the kiss of death. You yeah. gave them a wide berth. We'll get you. They can't drive for shit. We're going to get you. I mean, we're bad drivers, too. But Yeah, but we're uh, dumb. Yeah, it's, Texas isn't great, either. A am I wrong? We're dumb like, and angry and racist. Hopefully and my mic probably is probably don't now. have a license. That was a big thing. <laughs> Dude. Most Dude. people in Alabama were driving without licenses. Man, Jack, your mic, too? They're blaming all the mics. I'm doing it, too? What? Is my mic fucked up? Are you I think sitting on your mic, Mark? Here, they what you do is just take your hand oh. and slap it aggressively. Yeah, mm -hmm. just beat it against the wall. Yeah. Spoilers. Welcome to the Achievement Hunter beat off. Spooky. I'm I was gonna, talking about I'm this take earlier. It out of my pocket. If you go to achievementhunter.com slash beat off or achievementhunter.com slash penises, uh, a, you can get a real time video of penis sizes now, penis sizes in the past. We do predictions of penis futures. Oh, just like using computer models to <laughs> digitally computer age models. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, have okay. the technology now to digitally it just age gets or and shrink and, and stretch yeah. the What's penis. What's the technology they use for mummies where they can recreate the face? It's like we have an aged, oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. You have crispy penis. Take like a you plaster have look mold like, yeah. and then yeah. if you have a boned make it look out, like it's alive again. <laughs> if you have a eyeballs. boned out fleshless penis, it can uh, restructure that mm. and show you what it would have looked like in its time. Without also, right, we have incredible. Uh, uh, Just be safe. Reverse uh, circumcision <laughs> technology there. that exists. I so you can see what it would look like with the scoop and the hood. Oh, I could go back. Yeah, we have you uncutting like, technology. Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, they can surgically do that. Yeah. Just place yeah, Play-Doh. Just put they, on. I, like, I heard it. Even Howard Stern talking about it. Why yeah, it was, though? Like, yeah. Was it his experience? It, it's, you've already Re like you. It, yeah. It's already gone. The nerve bits. No, done. They can. They can. Yeah. And I think it was, at that point, it's more of an aesthetic thing. Right, it's all but aesthetic, yeah. If there's one thing I've heard, it's well, ladies are always upset about having it hooded. So I'm a... Or unhooded. I'm a, I'm a circumcised man myself. Right. Uh, and uh, that's interesting, because Gavin always talks about, he always makes fun of us for, 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 or those of us who are circumcised for being circumcised, and how much better sex is if you're uncircumcised, apparently. For him. More nerve endings and stuff. But there was a dude on Howard Stern a little while ago that as an adult got circumcised. <clears throat> And he, uh, it was like a rare breed, a person that decides to get cut mm -hmm. in their 30s. Yeah, and he says, that. unequivocally, uh, in his experience, uncircumcised sex is way better than circumcised. Really? really? Yeah. Did he give that any reason? it was reason? instantly <clears throat> better. Uh, I don't remember all the details. It was a few years ago, but it was, uh, he was like, yeah, 100%, I would never go back. And everybody who's got a foreskin wait, wait, wait. should get rid of it. Wait, wait, hmm. so he, wait, so he got circumcised. He yeah, got circumcised. He circumcised. You, said, you said, I said uncircumcised was better, and then we're saying oh, he yeah. would never go back. No, 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 yeah, no, that made sense. Yeah. He's saying uncircumcised was better, he would never go back to being, like, having the... 
Oh, no, you're right. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah I thought yeah, you were right. Okay. okay. Circumcised. <laughs> you were he, saying, sold, like, he sold it so well, yeah. I believed it. Okay. Yeah, he, okay. he got the, the intent. For them. Yeah. I got the intent. I, did, yeah. I said it wrong, but I, my, I don't know. He you says were. circumcision, uh, good. Yeah, he was way happier circumcised than uncircumcised. Okay. And uh, he said it was just a lot less mess and kerfuffle, and then also that sex feels better. There's a lot of people that apparently it's the, the foreskin is too tight. Yeah, this I gotta I'm doing hand. It happens on. sometimes. If you got it's fat, saggy force, it's probably bad. Then you just slip right out. But if yeah. it's too tight, it can rip and apparently cause a lot of discomfort. You can do a lot like of stuff. That. I will say this: you can do a lot of stuff with the foreskin. Like one time, they had Sal Gavinelli once again on the Howard Stern show. That's all I talk about. Eric's over here laughing. He knows he's a, he's a big Stern fan. Uh, he you get your stuff, dick cut. Eric? They would get it. See how many M and M's he could stuff in his foreskin. He's got he's got his dick. How many M and M's did Sal get in his foreskin? Do you remember? I hate for it. It was it was a lot. It was more than you think should be able to go in the front of a dick. Yeah, it was like, I want to say like 15 or yeah, something. Yeah, wow. it was, it's like a handful. Like, you know, like you pick up like a handful to eat them. It and was you're like, like it's it a was, lot for my mouth. Yeah, and it was like, yeah, so imagine putting that where your dick ends and it's just like a elephant trunk. Does, and, uh, hey, by the way. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, whack-a-dack-a-doo. Thank uh, you. Hey, I was say whack -a -dick that's a shibboing. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Harsh boy. Is that out yet? I don't know. No, <laughs> no way. I mean, no one here can speak from experience. Perhaps we could start a poll or get some people who are women or gay men. Um, but on the performing end of a blowjob, I'd much take uh, uncircumcised. So. Uh, you don't, you don't roll back the wrapper? It's more know. work. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Look, You're welcome. Admit, you prefer I'm an saying, uncircumcised. I'm sorry, yeah. I don't, I don't you really prefer know. prefer an uncircumcised. No, sorry. Place. Much take... Circumcised. She did the thing I did. did. It's, 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 it's so they're like, like when you're Wait, sucking on a big old fat dick, you don't want it to have a hood as well. Nah. Hopefully, Sorry. she's not sucking nah. on any big old fat dick. Sorry, Sorry yeah. yeah. No, Sorry. When, uh, when you're starting, it ain't coming like, for me. On a perfectly Just adequate, normal sized penis. That's it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I will admit ignorance to uh, something here with. Uh, they with, are sexually active. With, yes. No, I, okay. Were, once a year. Does it retract when you're fully erect? Or is it still. Hooded. It depends. It's uh, it's everybody's each his own. Is different. I think. So that's uh, what he's saying. Yeah. Like the tight, like sometimes, and then it's just like a little. I've watched a lot of porn. Like Gavin complains <laughs> he doesn't have enough. It'll be like, like and, and then and then you get like the bulb on the dig. Other times you got to pull it back. Yeah. I think like and this is, uh, I'm pretty sure Gus has plenty. Gus got a lot of force. He's got extra. Yeah. Gavin's like he could use some more. Well, I saw. He's, like a, uh, he's like a day walker. I saw when <laughs> have I told between. I told I told the story about the. The, about the gay bachelor party that I went to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where well, you were sexually assaulted and yeah. thought it was funny. I, I, mean, I wasn't, that, I don't want to start that whole thing. If people were mad at me for not being mad about it, which I think is really weird. But uh, if I'm not upset, why should you be mad that I'm not? I, anyway, uh, did I talk about my cousin and the dude in the foreskin and the whole thing? I don't know if I wanted to talk about that in public. <laughs> this doesn't I sound familiar. I don't think so. No. I don't think so. No. Yeah, you really could have been anonymous. But I will say, uh, <laughs> now, yeah. I saw a dude, we don't know which cousin. I saw a dude at a male strip club with giant cock, of course, because he's at a strip club. But he had a foreskin that was, it almost looked like it was like almost like a nipple on a boob. There was so much foreskin, it like hung down in the like little like it had like a little pin, like a, like a straw. I got what you're you could like, uh, yeah. we could like wiggle it. Uh. You could like grab it, like you grab a nipple and go like. Woo. So you could make it flip. talk if you wanted to. That yeah. seems yeah. like a problem at the strip club. Like, it was like it was like a penis, that. like the foreskin. All right, so here's the penis, and then the foreskin goes over, but then it hangs out about like this far uh, until like a point. So it was like a Santa hat. It looked like a snork. Or like oh, a snork. I remember snork. Oh yeah, snork. Yeah, yeah. like the thing at the top of like, that. Like, it looked turn. like a snork. Yeah. What the hell was that for on a snork? I think I don't know. Uh, sexual, a, I think. Probably. Yeah. 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 Boing. Procreation. I wonder if someone's <coughs> foreskin has been so large and compared to their You guys are all too young for snorks. Look up snork and then you'll understand what I mean. And that's <laughs> yeah. what that's what that guy at the strip club is. I bet if you look up like. rule 34 of snork, you're going to get Absolutely. some yeah, yeah, like dick in the sense. hole. Yeah. I want to know if there's been a person who's been trying to pull back their foreskin, but their dick is so tiny that it just kind of keeps going and going and they're like this for a while. What does that mean? They can't find the dick. They have small foreskin. Too much foreskin. Infinite foreskin. Yeah. Buried in there. In my head, you were just doing like the the, the clown trick with the scarves. Yeah, that's what Reverse he's with that. foreskin. Yes. Yeah, it's like, where's my dick? It's in here somewhere. Uh. Jeff, someone summed it up. They said like an anteater. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. like an anteater yeah. kind of. Wow. All right. I that, that's, I a, that's a hindrance to him in the strip and biz. You think I mean, that's slowing him like, down? Like Lindsay was saying, actually, if you gotta like put work into get mm. get into the meat, uh, <laughs> <laughs> <like> cracking <laughs> crack the, the shell of a nut. Yeah. You know. Man. Uh. So you guys been boiling your water? No. No. No, no I'm still brushing got, my teeth got a problem. with raspberry LaCroix. Jack, oh, yeah. <laughs> three out of five people are clean. Oh, that's right. You sons of bitches. Living in nice, clean water areas. Clean. Ooh.
Ooh, the water from the trap. Mm. I drink it every morning. I have go, no idea, but they supposedly <laughs> were fine. <laughs> just assume it's okay. It'd be great. No, I mean, this, listen, this, uh, to be fair, an, be good. an email told me I'm good. Hopefully yeah, they lie to me. I mean, our drinking water wouldn't be affected anyways because we get our water delivered to us. Okay. So we just have that's a. Well, that's our bottle. Somebody, yeah. yes. somebody just said that uh, this conversation is stupid and like we don't know what a foreskin looks like when an erect. I've seen porn. Um, I know what an yeah, erect. Excuse me. I know what an erect penis Please. with a foreskin looks yeah. like. Also, I admitted I don't know what it looks like erect with a foreskin. Oh, so I know. You know, very very I'll send you some links. I know sit, very sit, well. sit near Lindsay. Do you question my expertise? I didn't question anybody. <laughs> I'm talking to the I internet. I admitted <laughs> ignorance and I spoke it aloud. Someone was like, and this is also again pretty ignorant that you would just assume everyone is the same. But someone said it's just one pullback to get to the dick. How much work is that? More work than none. More work than sure. none. And yeah, also, no, like, I mean, what an assumption. What if there's three pullbacks? It's there is the dick. no I mean, pullback on my cock. Just getting to the head doesn't you get mean you right reach to the, the whole It's thing. loaded, ready to go. You get right <laughs> you to the you know, It's not loaded. You don't have to cock it. It's, it's not just, loaded. Yeah. You know what it's you're pulling there. back on to get to the tip? The dick. You're not yeah. revealing the dick. That's still all dick. Yeah, yeah but like Jess said, it's not the meat of the dick, though. My dick is Wait, ready to That's just the head of the dick. The meat of the dick is what you're holding. No, the, oh, sometimes the head's the, covered, too. Though. It's like the nougat. That's what I'm saying. You, know, you, you never know. It. Well, it varies. The caramel. I mean, a banana with a peel is still a banana. You would say this is a banana. Yeah, but no but one's going to be like delicious peel. peel yeah, that's what I'm saying. It. Right, yeah. It's like you, like, you don't you don't eat the wrapper. Yeah, but you don't remove the skin. Unless you're iris. Unless you're circumcised. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Dicks. They're wild. Yeah, They're ugly. Penises are ugly. Yeah, boiling water sucks. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. so we're uh, we're obsessed with blackout. Yeah, we've been playing a lot. Oh of yeah, blackout. have you guys won yet? Uh, Michael has. This guy. So close. Hey. I've won bl not playing with anybody from work. Ooh, I don't know that, when the videos will come like, out, but we had a game where we got very, very without spoiling too much. We got very, very close to winning and fucked it up in a very achievement hunter style. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah. We also we was did everything was going our way. It, you, it would take a catastrophic miscommunication and failure of ability to fuck up. Or a Tuesday. But night. against oh, yeah. all odds, we pulled it we, off. We did it. Uh, a video that did come out, though, uh, the stream. Yeah. We almost fucking won. We got Number second. Two. It came down to Ryan and I. And unfortunately, and there was three people that were all on the same team. It was 2v3. Yeah. For us. Um, we got two of them. We got two of them. We put up a, we put up a fight. But I didn't feel shame in that no. loss. Like, no, we no, just no. lost. What he's describing is awful, miserable shame. Uh, that was a, a good fight. We almost won. And, like, I've been playing a lot at home with, like, people from work. People, like, I've been actually telling people to get it, like, outside of people I haven't, like, played video games with in, like, five years. I'm like, I'll play this game. It's get like it. we all get remembered it. games for yeah, fun. Yeah, like, multiplayer, multiplayer online games. See, I, I had to find, I had to ask Millie if we had a headset. Yeah. When I played with you the other night. It was, it's fun. And I've been playing a lot at home, like trying to get better at it. And I was playing with a friend of mine and my brother who are not good. I uh, play with your brother. He's, he's not, no, he's not good. Yeah, he's not good. I, it's, I had funny to, though. I had to play with him for a day before I would even play with you guys with him. Cause I was like, <laughs> this is just going to be awful. You know? Yeah. Um, my other friend is actually pretty good. He just, he just got the game. But we were playing, and I'm getting okay at it. Like, I usually get, like, two two. You look like a fucking a champion in that one you won. And it's always, like, you do well at the beginning, and it just means nothing. Because all you need is one shot in the head, you're dead. Or, like, you know, you run into the wrong team, and you're dead. But, like, I've got four or five kills a couple times in a few games. Mm -hmm. And I've gotten 10th place, you know, 12th place, mm -hmm. whatever. We played a game. It was just three of us. We did a squad, but we didn't get a teammate. So it was just three of us. 20 minutes, we didn't run into anyone the entire game. It's like, okay, we landed the Achievement Hunter headquarters. We went to the dam, Chief looted Hunter the HQ. place, got all the stuff. Uh, circle closed. We were in it. I'm like, okay, cool. So then we went to some other place. Circle did you closed. Guys, did you guys boat boy out of it? We didn't boat boy out of okay. it. Okay. Uh, because it was like, the circle was like to the left. Um, west. So we went to the next place. Circle closed. It's like, oh shit, it's like right up there. Like, like. Two minutes. We'll just run up in two minutes, like two seconds. So we ran up there, and it just kept closing around us and around us and around us. And literally, like, the last white circle in the game was in a house we were already in. <laughs> and it was just, like, fucking World War Three outside the house. We're just, like, all <laughs> sitting in the house, and it's just, like, grenades. Like, a couple cluster bombs came through Somebody the window. Somebody ran a truck into the building. When we got there, there was a truck rammed into the front of the building, <laughs> and it's like nobody was inside. Like, we literally never fired a bullet at anyone the entire game. Till so what happened as we learned is the last white zone happens and then you're left with the last blue and then it just gets smaller. Like there is no white. Like you yeah, have to you run just, into yeah. it. So 
the blue started closing and we left the house. I jumped over a wall. So there's three of us left. Saw one guy running, killed him. He was by himself. Saw another guy, killed him. We won the game. It's awesome. We got two kills. Like, wow. We got two kills the whole game. It was I'll three. V, it was, and it saw was, two people it was, who weren't on a team. Yeah. It was three one v one. And I was like, the the my friend Joe who I was playing with, that was like his sixth game. And he's like, oh, that was easy. Yeah. He he didn't get a single kill. But I was just like, <laughs> how? <laughs> like I was like, I didn't care because I got a kill. But that's the only fucking game I won. I, I like posted it on Instagram. <laughs> that was awesome. clip. I watched it like a hundred times because I'll never win again. I'm excited to play Red Dead and Fallout, but I'm a little saddened that it's gonna just. Dis- like distract us from. Yeah, I mean it'll be around for a good while. Game. It'll yeah. be like Siege. Yeah. I mean Siege is always least, there in the background. We'll yeah. play Siege today. It's a game I want. We're gonna play Siege today because yeah. it's Halloween themed. So after this, we're definitely gonna play Siege. Which Honest, I haven't played in a long time. Blackout honestly, took Siege away from me. The the thing that I like at least about Blackout is it's like 100% Red Dead just put a pfft, right in Assassin's Creed for me because I'm gonna play Red Dead instead. Blackout <laughs> yeah. is like it's not a campaign. There's not a story. Like I can be like I can play an hour of Blackout and then mm-hmm. go back to Red Dead. Yeah. Assassin's Creed's on the other end for me. So like I mean I'm only like two hours into the game. Like yeah. I have so much yeah. shit to do. I'm like twenty five hours into the game. Yeah, you're right. You're in the like, meat of it. I think I'll, I'll probably still play that at home and then play Red Dead just kind of on the side. You gotta finish like, it. You're so far in. I know. It. I like this the story's fucking great. Like I mean everything about Odyssey is so good. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. And I so perfected it, Origins and I was asking Jeremy. I was like, how many more collectibles are there? He's like, oh my god, there's so many more. Oh yeah. Like, it's All huge. right. Cool. <laughs> I got some stuff ahead of me. Yeah. You can beat the game and still have like there's the cult. It's like kind of like the bad guys. They can mm-hmm. they, they they can still exist. After you, I think after you beat the game, like I don't think you have to take them all out. You still have to go back and clear them out too. Oh God! Hey, when I was so. when I was playing Red uh, Red Dead a little bit last night, I saw that um, I'm still like in the two and a half hour introductory period of the game where you just yeah, you just, like heavy story. It's like, yeah, it's just like horse snow simulator. I would say yeah, but, the, the opening of Red Dead is like the Marvel uh, Netflix series where they're just like we got all the time in the world. Yeah, yeah. they take their time with it. But yeah. I saw um. Still awesome, by the way. Fucking still, awesome. I, I saw I uh, beautiful. Fucking it's a slow gorgeous. Burn. I like the snow when you're when you're yeah, like walking no through like ain't, like mm-hmm. thigh high snow. It looks so cool. And it, have you, you hear the crunching? There is snow, but everybody walks like they got to take a dump. Yeah, because yeah. like, I'm gonna shit my pants. Lift your legs. Have you gone first person at all? Yeah, a little bit. First yeah. person looks mm-hmm. great too. It really does. Um, I noticed that a bunch of like after I started playing, a bunch of pre-order installs went through. Yeah. Do you know what all those are? Like, there's a treasure map and like you get that all once you hit to once you get to Valentine, which is like the first. Okay, so when I get to Valentine, yeah. it'll okay. Like yeah. we like we have like there's like a super horse basically. You get like a pre-order and like you get you can you buy it for free basically later on and stuff. Okay, cool. So yeah, you Jack, just I gotta keep playing. Someone was asking if you're in the game. I don't what? know. Urine's in the game. Yeah, there's of course urine everywhere. Horse, horse. Yeah. Apparently the horse is shit a lot. My horse, horse will not shit stop shitting. That's gonna be some things to do. <laughs> yeah, gonna do a lot of things to do. Yeah, of course. Horses shitting. We're gonna like tie up dudes, like because you can tie people up, right? Like yep. horse tie somebody. I was dragging them. Hog tie somebody. Put them on the ground, and we'll just all have our horses shit on them. I hope that's one of the. We're gonna, gonna have a, we're gonna make a video thing. called Poop Party. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, so there was a lot it? of stuff that didn't translate from single player into multiplayer for GTA, like all the animals. Oh, in the game. that's true. I really hope that that doesn't horse shitting. I mean, in multiplayer is not. I want to do yet. bear puncher again. Mm. Yeah. yeah, you could in the original Red Dead. Be really weird. Want to make a unicorn again? We're gonna recreate all that stuff, and yeah. then, dude, fucking. Then hopefully we'll make King of the Mountain, King of the Hill. We'll do yeah, King, of the, King of the Mountain again. We're definitely gonna make heists. Oh yeah. yeah as soon yeah. as we like crack that. Did nut, you see? That out. Did you see Gavin's video he posted? Oh, oh yeah. 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 <laughs> I didn't see it. No. He's like, I and I didn't even get this far yet. He must have been like right past where I was, but he's gotten to the point where he's like through the the introduction and he's unlocked the game because he's got like a wanted level, like clearly like, he's got in law enforcement chasing him because there's like a meter and he's just standing on a bridge and I haven't talked to him about it so I can only take from what the video is and I'm assuming he's like waiting for someone to like come chasing after him because like they're looking for him or whatever but he's standing on this big bridge and he's just looking around and there's this huge fucking like it's like a gorge like like gorge and then like you know a mountain on the other side and a fucking dude just comes running with a horse and just fucking dives right <laughs> off the mountain and like falls down the mountain and like hits the side of it. Oh, wow. really? Yeah, just, he just comes, he's like, I'm assuming off. it's like yeah. a, a law enforcement running for Gavin and he just eats shit and dies. Like, right, this is it right it's here. It's amazing. Like, yeah, right there you go. Yeah. <laughs> so he's just looking around and there's a. There's <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I got, that was eaten, it. I got eaten by a bear yesterday. Nice. Like, like, there's a mission. No, we're talking about Red Dead. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's a mission where you have to go, like, track down a bear with this guy, and he's like, like they have legendary animals in the game. And uh, he's like, well, you can come back and meet at camp, or you can keep tracking it if you want. I'm like, oh, I'll, I'll keep tracking it. I follow it right here. Oh! 
Whoa, boom, and I was just dead. It was Dude, just like no, what, no, like oh, you're hurt. No, I was dead. What kind of bear? It was big and fucked up. There's okay. so yeah. many Grizzly. animals yeah. and like things in the game. So the thing is, you can like research shit like as you're looking at it. So like the first horse you see, it's like if you're close enough when you're targeting it. If you hold the right bumper, you basically like scan it, and then it like gives you information about uh -huh. it and the breed and whatever. It's a Tennessee so, Walker. So I'm, right. in, Walker. I'm in animals, right? I back out. It's like you got your first animal. There's 178, and I'm like, Woo! holy shit! And that doesn't count like fish and birds oh. and like there's like a, like there's like a hundred plants. I'm like, gonna kill oh every one of them. I fucking You're kill them and eat I saw them. a skunk. I should have clipped it. I was running through the snow thing. and a fucking <laughs> crow landed in front of me and I just plowed right through it and it was like <laughs> <laughs> There's also dream like, chewed it up with my horse. There's also yeah. dream catchers in the world too. I found my first dream catcher. There's oh, like cool. in random trees. Are those collectibles? Yeah there's twenty oh, of them or at least nice. twenty of them. Well, if I get them all billion well if you get all of them that does something like you can discover the fucking good night's sleep. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. be like the UFO thing in probably. GTA, probably. Yeah. Hmm. It's a like, Stephen King book, wasn't it? Dreamcatcher. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I think so. But yeah. yeah, we didn't want to say anything because we were uh, we weren't allowed to say anything until the game came out, or they asked us not to. Yeah. But yeah, Jack yeah. and I are in Red Dead. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, they were very nice of Laszlo and uh, and, and Simon, Simon and, and all those guys, Rockstar to. Uh, yeah, it was well when the, when he asked this, he's like, oh, well, you know, like I might have an opportunity for you. I was thinking it was gonna be like, oh, we'll be like the random like howdy partner, that kind of stuff, like as you're walking around. Yeah, but you're you're the main character. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Arthur. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then we we got there, and like they didn't send us scripts or anything. Like this is all like it was pretty much like you know completely locked. Maybe we did down. this in January. Yeah, January or February, yeah. and we got there, and it's like, okay, we have three hours for Jeff and three hours for you, and I was like. What? And then we look, and then Jeff Jeff went first, and it was literally like twenty nine pages. I had fifty eight pages. Fifty eight pages, about right? Yeah, and I was like, holy shit! It was That's, fucking intense. It's it was intimidating as hell too. And mm. it's like, yeah, Jack oh, was fucking scared. I was I was terrified, <laughs> man. Yeah. Well, mixed is being a fan of the series. One, that's awesome that it happened. Yeah. But two, just speaking to other voice actors I know who do video games, they say that's all you get really is mm -hmm. you come in. They're like, hey, what are we doing today? They're like, here's your script. You don't get to see anything beforehand. Now go for the next like six hours. It was yeah. It was fucking cool because there was like one period where I was in a cutscene. And I just got to watch like the rough animatics of it, and I had to match. Yeah, them. yeah. It was, it was well, that, that it, was that was hard. Yeah, that was like the last thing you had to do, where you had to like match an actual scene, and it was then you really hear, hard. We heard like the real voice actor, and it was like, oh, oh shit, like that's like a, a dude, you know, like that's like one of the main guys. Best part so, about that trip. The best part about that trip though was having dinner with Laszlo that night. That was dude, awesome. Laszlo's awesome. He's such a good, such dude. a cool guy. Yeah. So again, yeah, thank you everyone in Rockstar for for mm -hmm. setting us up. That was absolutely incredible and one of those like lifelong dream type things. Like Ooh, oh, bucket listy type thing. Yeah, it's like if you could be in any game, it's like oh yeah, any Rockstar game ever. And yeah, they don't put me in Halo anymore, so I gotta find something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, if, if you I are got playing, another them, one coming eventually, maybe. Yeah. Have, have, you haven't met yourself yet. Have I you? wasn't in Halo Five. Yeah, <laughs> it was the only one I haven't been in so far. You haven't met yourself yet, have you? Uh, no, no, I haven't gotten to Valentine. I'm gonna kill yeah. you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, please do. I'm oh no, still yeah. early people in be, the game. like no one sent a video of them murdering me yet, but yeah, you got one. I'll get you. Oh I'll really? Find you. Yeah. Yeah. Is that like, like, like a death threat sort of? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's not really but, a threat. Uh, He's like, I did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna if, if you're looking for us, uh, Jeff, you're the postman. Are you in Valentine? I think. Yeah, I'm the I'm in Valentine at the train station. Is this Jeff? It's where you go. Oh, it's the video us. Okay. So Jeff is the postman of Valentine, and I'm at the, I'm the hotel manager of Valentine. There's me. That's Jack. I look like Teddy Roosevelt, and so if, uh, I'm the where you post like you, when you have to pay bail or whatever. You go pay it to me. Yeah, I'm not. I'm doing there. Why am I leaving? You were tapping like the table. You're doing a cat stretch. What we what you can't see is that uh, you have no pants on, and below that there's a goat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh, the desk. Mm -hmm. fuck. He's like half goat, or he's fucking a goat. So, but anytime you like repay a wanted level or whatever, that's Jeff you talk to. Like, yeah. At least in Valentine. in Valentine. So, but still, that, that was still fucking incredible. I'm still early in the game and I'm horrible with names. Who's my favorite character? I you like the you. main character, Arthur, 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 yeah. Arthur Morgan. And I also appreciate that it sounds like either the actor is amazing at replicating that accent or he actually is Southern. I know. I oh, believe I he's been. Irish. Oh no shit. Really? So I that, believe. That's, that's, that's an wrong. interesting thing. Could Laszlo said so. part of why. Oh, this is probably not anything I shouldn't say, but that was a part of why they wanted to, they offered it to us because Jack and I are both from the South. Yeah. And they've run out of Southern accent voice actors in New York. Yeah. It was <laughs> like, they're, all, like, they're right. all gone. What the fuck? Yeah. And I'm they right were here. even, he was even <laughs> saying like, he it's has cool. Southeast. It's cool. I just, I, I was the one that started in <laughs> the GTA here and then I edited it for like two years, but it's good. It's good. You yeah. don't sound Southern. Uh, Ryan, who edited the first heist? 
uh, you because I <laughs> had a child. Yeah. Wow. So and, uh, you've got he was even saying that they had they would go down to Atlanta just to get local voice actors there and like do a bunch of recording sessions in yeah. Georgia. Atlanta's yeah. dude. Let me ask. And further though. insult injury. Sorry, I didn't. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. They went all the way to Atlanta. Oh. Uh, Did they not? Did see, they? Uh, are Bigfoot let's plays though. <laughs> oh, I yeah, they, they may did, they may have could have used, used Trapper uh, there you go. Uh, did you see also someone, Trigger. someone we're, said we're in uh, I saw a video today apparently uh, there's someone in a bar asking for a British person named, named Gavin. Gavin yeah Yeah. and I'm like I don't I, really? I don't know about that I don't know if that's I mean, if it's like, a, that might just be a little easter egg or something but. or just total coincidence yeah, or, yeah. or there's there more than one Gavin. Yeah. there are more than one now, what stage does the game take place in it's what state? I don't know. It's yeah. NH is like what I've seen, like Valentine. Oh, NH. New Hampshire. Oh, okay. I don't, I, mean, I don't think it's New Hampshire. It's in no. New, the you know the New England area. North Havermeyer. Yeah. Yeah. North Havermeyer. Oh, Perfect. There you go. Not North, Texas. Northern North North. Yeah, North. I was like, not, it, not looks like it looks like not Montana here. or yeah. Colorado. But the but, first you know. game was like next. I mean, Mexico was there, so it was like mm -hmm. Mexico and then some mm -hmm. Texas-ish state. And wasn't it when just does, Texas? I thought it was Texas. I don't think it was Texas. When does Fallout come out? Maybe fourteen. Michael's saying that you see like Austin and shit in the first game. November fourteen. There's like a part in like New Austin. No, is it first game? Yeah. 13th. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Do you uh, do you play the beta? I uh, did. How was it? Uh, do you play with multiplayer? Yeah, it was, it was me, Jeremy, and Cap played, and uh, it's it was well, it's a beta for yeah, starters. Yeah, for sure. But the thing that was sort of weird for me was I joined in. They had been playing for a little while. At no point did I ever run into anything that gave me a quest. I just had the quest that they were doing. And I never got an objective marker or anything. Apparently, Jeremy could see him, but I was just kind of following him around. Oh, was it uh, one of those things where, like, well, that doesn't make any sense. Like, you join their session, so you're on their account. So but it's like, like, you're like the a helpful, entirety of that game. Almost like a helpful NPC for them, sort of. I had the quests. Like, I was yeah. doing it with them. Um, was it fun? It took some getting used to. It's still a little janky. Um, do you get the impression that we can do a seven days type series in it, or like a raft or I don't think type series? I, in the time we had, because it was a limited window, and I didn't start until about seven forty-five, and it closed so you had at like ten. A two hours, yeah. Yeah. So uh, it, it's a little hard to say if I got to the meat of that game. I don't think I did. We never built a camp, which is a big mechanic. Why didn't bother playing it? A lot of it's you, I just, I wouldn't have enough you time can play for two hours through. tomorrow. You spend a lot yeah. of time just picking shit up and then breaking it down into to pieces, and then there's nothing you can craft with those pieces. That was my experience for that first hour and a half. Hmm. So, and also there's no NPCs supposedly in the game, though there are perks that apply to you selling things, because caps are huge in that game. The, you need caps to fast yeah. travel to places. Like and, super uh, valuable. Yeah. yeah. So getting a cap is like a big thing. Uh, I think by the end of it, I had twenty. So. Big Who do you think the green man is that got on the bus? Where did this conversation uh, change to go? Sunny? Yeah, we just okay. Did. okay. Talking about yeah. the newest he's, episode. He's of done that to you week. twice now. This one, I, at least I understood, because yeah. the green man could mean nothing else. Okay. Before we were talking about mm -hmm. like episodes or TV, and he says, yeah. "What's your favorite episode?" We were talking about Achievement Hunter, I think. We were talking about Achievement Hunter. And he said, "What's your favorite episode?" Yeah. By the way, I'm talking about. Why would Sunny. we talk about Achievement Hunter? I don't know. I hate. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. It's a good question. I think it's good when question. they make yeah. boils. Oh, hey, Daniel. 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 Fabello. Oh, fuck. You got a, you got a mic on? You got a mic on? by at 12.45. Oh, okay. let me, I'll do an ad read before Daniel comes. All right. Tell needs, me about... Let me, is is it 12.45 already? What's... Look, oh, boy. Look at the time. I could have been in Red Dead, partner. <laughs> eh? Eh? DLC. Wow. DLC. You guys have heard me talk about movement. You know those two college dropouts that started their own watch company. Well, they've grown like crazy with almost 2 million watches sold in 160 plus countries. That's at least 161. And they continue to revolutionize fashion on the belief that style shouldn't break the bank. I don't know if you've checked out the site lately, but they've doubled the number of watch styles and are still expanding. Movement watches are all about looking good and keeping it simple. Movement watches don't tell you how many steps you've taken or blow your wrist up with text messages. It tells time and it looks good doing it. You want a simple watch? watch you don't want a fancy phone watch you know you just want to look nice maybe you're going to a nice event maybe you're not maybe you just want a cash nice watch for telling time movement it's a it's a good choice movement watches started just 95 dollars at a department store you're looking at four to five hundred dollars movement figured out that by selling online they were able to cut out the middleman and retail markup providing the best possible price to you the consumer get 15 percent off today with free shipping and free returns by going to mvmt.com slash off topic See why movement keeps growing. Check out their expanding collection. Go to mvmt.com slash off topic. Join the movement and know what time it is. 
It Good helps. on both fronts, yes. Yeah, like I, I <coughs> didn't you. pay attention to the time and realize Daniel was about to storm out of the set. <clears throat> He was ready. Oh, the show. buy Jeff merchandise today, too. I saw that. I was just looking at the <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's not the merch that it's supposed to be because there was a fuck up, but it's other Jeff merch. Did you fuck it up? No, it was the way I think, I think he did. You're clean. It's supposed to be right. off the grid stuff, but it's. Off like, it's the just, grid? It's just a. It's a fuck. It's, hey. a, it's a bag and a. Did you get any of it? Shirt. You probably won't. I did. I, did. <laughs> I don't have any. I don't have the other new stuff. Oh, also, I just got an email. Fort Nightmares. Darkness has risen. Maybe mm -hmm. we should play that. Oh, that's there's, cool. there's there's Halloween uh, stuff in your... in Hitman, in Siege, and in I guess we Fortnite. should absolutely. There's in probably Pokemon in GTA show. as well. I heard there was um, some Halloween stuff in Blackout actually. Oh, we should look for that. Yeah, like, even if we you... can't find. Well, it I did notice there's yeah. a lot of <laughs> zombie <laughs> pillar lights that I don't remember seeing originally. Zombies. He there said zombies. That's there's it. Zombie. There's zombie in blackout. We yeah, yeah, yeah. go to right to the zombie. House. We, did, we, just don't, we just posted the zombie video and people didn't shit all over it. Surprisingly. No, people said they thought you were good at zombies. Yeah. The, I, I Jack plays zombies a lot. He, he yeah. that's his. Jack, that's that's Jack my talks one thing. About zombies. I like yeah. zombies. A lot. Play zombies now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I play zombies. So should we bring uh, Daniel on and talk about? Yeah, I got to no. pee. Yes. Come sit down, Daniel. Yeah. Come sit in the pee chair. He didn't pee in it, but he urinated yes. all over this chair. Is these are Ben Bernie. These are comfy chairs. Shut up. The, yeah, these are actually it's really nice. All right, Daniel, go. Who are you? Achievement Hunter, uh, October thirty first. Achievement Hunter. Watch it. I'm done. Okay. You're not Ryan. That was it. Yeah, but you know, I could be. This is, take it back, Daniel. <laughs> this is the Achievement Hunter Clubhouse set. This is where every episode will begin. Yep. This is where we do the debriefing on uh, whatever uh, spooky or or uh, uh, murdery ghost hunt. This is where we tell our stories. This is where we tell the stories. One of the history. In the show. If you watched the pilot and you saw the the smoky fire scene, the smoke that nearly murdered Jeremy, we funny. got rid of it and yeah. replaced it. This is it the, with, basically the campfire with the scene. with the, uh, with the uh, what is it uh, uh, Monster Squad style clubhouse it's a cool clubhouse. Do you know how much or three investigators Do, or three investigators we had we we both had uh similar ideas that m m melded together into this do you know how much it costs to move it this fucking clubhouse from a building over there to it over costs here a lot of like emails 30 bucks i know how much it costs a lot i don't know how much emails. it costs it was like 10 grand right a lot of no is that what they said much less than that how much did it don't cost don't exaggerate guys. Came out of they said 10 grand in the email it came out of marketing right it so was, we're fine it was they're still fighting back it there it was 2500 to Ooh, move it here Jesus just Christ. pick it because up just pick it up and carry it. it so this is built to be disassembled and put back together so that we can shoot you know three or four times over the course of the seasons and um and then you have to once you get it all assembled and moved with forklifts and whatnot, then you have to actually set dress it and move all the items. And that costs seventy five. And we had to move a bunch of shit and broadcast to get it through there, right? Yep. We had to like so it's super disruptive to other departments. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, but you know, it's suck Ryan it. Ryan could Looks get pretty cool. Though. I'm not gonna say anything bad because uh they're filming me right they now. They can't. Mm -hmm. Who's that? They can't hurt you. You're off camera. That's not. Oh, we're actually. We're not live. Why do you think I'm probably goes for like four or five hours sometimes? No, I was yeah. watching on the. It cuts on down the, about 15 minutes. I was watching on the app. It was looking good. You guys are doing a great job. Oh, thank you. It was Thanks. muted. It's all. It's all. When does so it look good? It's all when does Achievement Haunter come out? October 30. Halloween. Whoa, spooky. A lot of people say we fucked so up. So Wednesday less than a week. on Halloween. Why? We should have released it in the weeks leading up to Halloween. For those people, I say. Uh, do you have any idea how hard it is to make this fucking show? <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, I could not have. So I just finished. I was over editing with Sarah. We have officially locked, not done with, but locked the first four episodes. Mm. Okay. Ka-ching. Yep. They're all mean, like, very, they November's done. Mm. They can't. Yeah, they're locked they in a cage. Escape. They're not done yet, but they're locked. It means that they them. can't They're change. locked in a prison means... in DeRitter, yeah. Louisiana. It gotcha. means that we've handing it to sound and color because it needs to be colored. Yeah, we shot the be, whole thing in black and white. It needs to be That's mixed. And then and you're then, gonna email it to us because you said you would. I, it's still Friday. It, I, I still have time. I still have time. It's a friendly reminder. Woo. <laughs> I also haven't gotten the links for the lock cut yet. So, so how many, how many episodes are in season one? Seven episodes. Seven lovely episodes. We said so. eight. We said eight a lot, but we're making seven, and here's we're making why. Seven. Here's why. But it's why, fucking Jeff? hard to make. <laughs> yeah. The timing is very difficult with everybody's disparate schedules. And it's also a, such a big production. Like, how many people are on crew when oh we do an episode? Uh, like 300? 20, 25 to 30. It depends on the night. It depends on the night, but like 25 to 30. 25 to 30. I would say probably 30. Plus us. So it's a, it's yeah. a huge operation to move all that stuff from Austin to Missouri or England or mm -hmm. any of the places we've gone. God, that English and, uh, is so we, Only Missouri and England are the only places we've been. Uh, and... Uh, <laughs> But season Louisiana. two, don't forget Louisiana. Uh, I don't want to forget Louisiana. Fuck Louisiana. <laughs> season two. Can I ask you a question? Are we going back to Louisiana again? Or are we done with Louisiana? 
That means uh, I really want to oh. just to fuck with you. It's <laughs> awful. You don't even need ghosts. We well, need you know what? I don't I care about going to Louisiana as long as we don't go in the summer. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Going, right. That's, that's true. That going. is true. However, I do think that that added a lot to the sawmill. Of, I cannot detect ghosts while I'm sweating my nuts off. Well, you know, you can use your nuts to. If I could have travel. found a cold spot, I would have just. But been happy to die be, in it because of because of season one becoming seven episodes. Season two is now nine episodes. Yes, like we will shoot the same amount of episodes. They'll just be portioned out differently. Are they twenty-two minute episodes or forty-four minute? Angelic Rocker asks. They are twenty-two to twenty-four minute episodes. Okay, that's the 24. range. So it's half hour comedy. And I will say, I think that there's enough content. I think twenty-two is good for what it is. But if we were to ever say go to TV with it, and we had to, we, we could probably push some of those episodes. I would need another day of shooting. Yeah, but we could stretch some of the existing. We got more. Material. Yeah, I could stretch every episode probably to about thirty minutes, but not forty-two. Yeah, that, that's where I'm at so far. That I haven't seen some you of the need later to ones. Work harder, work <clears throat> more, ghosts more be funnier. Ghosts. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, right. it's it's tough. We need it's the ghosts to start picking oh, up. We're doing yeah. work. We need ghosts to lie to more. Yeah, that's what the other ghost shows yeah, are doing. Yeah, that is yeah. one thing. Ghost, oh, the other ghost shows. Let's talk about. I that. lie in every episode. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah so, Daniel, so. Daniel's been living in comment world. He's got lots to say. <laughs> oh yeah, no, yeah. No, no, no. It's not only comment. No, but this broadly, is good. This broadly, is good. broadly, broadly. Uh, not that we shouldn't give away what we've uh, found or not found yet. Right. You know, but we can well distinctly stuff. say that we don't say every place we find is haunted. Yes. We say it's haunted or inconclusive. Right. Right. But all the other ghost shows. Are full of shit and all say haunted. that they're all haunted. They're all super Every haunted. There's no way they're haunted. all they're all haunted, right? I well, would like Lindsay to think too. I would like to say none like, of them are haunted. Uh, when I Achievement Hunter, hunter when we stand there at the end of an episode, the five of us in the little like half moon that we do, when we stand there and we say an episode is haunted, it's a big deal because yeah. it, they aren't all haunted, and we're very honest about it. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, we're we're very very skeptical. I mean, like we very, like we're treating it real. Like I I genuinely don't believe in ghosts, but that doesn't mean I'm not trying to find ghosts. I will and tell if we, you if that if we find shit that like is weird, it's like okay. It's for the record, thing. I'm not trying to find ghosts, yeah. but you guys are. <laughs> I'm trying to make a TV show. My yeah. <laughs> and I will say this: my faith has been shaken on more than one occasion where I'm starting to question believing in ghosts. Really? Yeah. <laughs> because I've had Same. it's been so difficult, and sometimes yeah. I'm like, yeah. maybe I'm just an idiot. I love that Jeff and I have bonded as the two people <clears throat> who want to believe, who believe in ghosts, ghosts but yeah. the show is the show's making it hard we're for like, us. Yeah. Here's Fuck. the thing: maybe we need to start going off the beaten path. We're going to all these places that are like we're haunted. We should be looking for places that don't know they're haunted. We gotta yeah. make yeah. places haunted. You yeah, all these other ghost shows have been tromping around in there, <laughs> scaring all the ghosts off. That's it. They're sucking off all the ghost energy. None left for us when we get there. Mm-hmm. And there's a there's yeah. a misconception that the show is scripted. Yes, it is. I we just don't read the scripts. That's true. <laughs> yeah, that's well, true. That's well, it. here's the thing. Like you'll see a writer credit on the show, right? Yeah. But that is purely for the compiling of the history and giving you guys a script for this part of the show. And the script, even and even when we get that script, we're not following it mm-hmm. verbatim. No, it's like, here's, here's the bullet points. Here's what we'd like you to say. Right. Put it in your own words. This Go. person killed this person in this place. It, it's right. mostly yeah. dates. Like, it was 1825. Right. Uh, Gonzalez, Texas was founded in 1825. But yeah. Well, and, every, uh, everything yeah. we do is scripted. Our Let's Plays are scripted. This is scripted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and obviously, the drunk, the drunk history portion that I call it, which story time, we call it, where we're reenacting shit. Mm-hmm. That that is what that is. But when we're hunting ghosts, yeah, yeah. We're, just, when you're, we're just us. When you're so watching, us in a let's like, play when you're watching, the, off of it. when you're watching the show, when we are at the location, as soon as like you know the opening is like oh, talking about setting up. As soon up, as the camera pans down, and I go, here we are in beautiful downtown blank. Yeah, from that point on, there is no script. Like it there's, is hundred percent. Like there are story beats. Yeah, there, there's things where it's like you're okay. So you know, Jeff, Lindsay, Jack, you're gonna go here. Michael Ryan, you guys are gonna go here. Right. And we need to have an that, agenda. Yeah, but it's not, it's not like, okay, it. you're gonna open this and whoa, something's gonna pop. None yeah, of that. That's like that, the biggest thing you ask us I mean, to do is like reiterate what happened here. Like, okay, now we're in this location. If you recall from our story time, this is right. where so and so died. Okay, go. Because if you don't say that, the audience gets lost. It's very exactly. similar too, and I've said this even before Haunter was a thing, was it's very similar to the seasons of immersion that Kevin mm-hmm. and I have done, mm-hmm. which you have been a part of many of them. Yeah. Where it's like, Gavin and I, like, obviously, you know, we showed up. We know, hey, we're going to do this thing. You know, like, Fallout's my favorite example of all of that. We did the Fallout immersion because it's like, they, you know, had to get a crew of, like, 40 people. We had extras there. We rented that whole, like, town. Yeah. You know, all that stuff, all this thing. We got there, though, and it was like, all right, just go out there. 
And Gavin and I were just like, look at that. You see that shit right there? What's that? And we're just like picking up trash. He shot Tyler by accident. Like that wasn't <laughs> right, scripted. Right. And Tyler just died. That and is went the with best it. part. So right it's there. like, it's a lot of prep work. It's a lot of planning. It's a lot of like direction. And but then somebody says, what about the ball for Stacy? Well, obviously we have props because we're trying to engage with the ghost. Right. Yeah. Stacy was a little girl. We thought she'd like to play with a ball. Doesn't really fit into it for every take two to be like, this is a prop. We brought this prop with yeah. us. Like, yeah, right. we have shit. I did shit. see a comment. I went back last night and I was rewatching that pilot episode in prep for today. Okay. Um, <laughs> but someone was like, that is really not cool of you to pop a child's like toy. That I think belonged it's, to her. It's she safe to it. say anything we <laughs> no, no, break no. or yeah. smash like, or destroy, <laughs> we've brought. Yeah. That's a very specific. Yeah. Uh, we we broke and smashed a ton of shit in, we did. Uh, in the thing we filmed the other day. And we actually had the conversation. Is the audience going to think that we took 200 year old yes, artifacts will. from this historic location and yeah. smash them. 100%. Should we address that. that with them? And then I was like, nah, fuck it. Yeah. yeah. No, they will, that's I mean, a huge deal. Will think it. Part of our process is to make us different is we're here in a lot of ways to antagonize the ghosts and we bring things with which to antagonize. Yeah. yeah. Right. But that's. Like, if you're in a place where a guy got killed with a sledgehammer, we're going to bring a sledgehammer to the place because that's that's the the last thing that guy saw before he died was a sledgehammer coming at his nose. And so we were, we're trying to piss nuts. the ghost off. And it's nuts. <laughs> Daniel is obsessed Daniel with nuts. Daniel fucking loves nuts. nuts. He's obsessed with nuts. He's obsessed with nuts. <laughs> Daniel has, rela- has become a nut meme within a nut. Nut. Well, look, you guys are I told him yesterday, funky. he didn't even know. I'm like, you don't even know this, but you guys we like say this. like nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Daniel, let me ask you a question. Out of all the stuff you've done at Rooster Teeth, what is, uh, how does this compare? To like you've done immersion, thing? laser team. Like, how does how do we fit into that? Well, because this is different than anything you've ever done. You didn't. I had to convince. Is... I had to convince this motherfucker to do it. He didn't want to do it. First off. That's well, true. You're like, oh, <laughs> you're like, I want to make movies. I don't want to make dumb. Well, TV also, shows. we didn't have. We didn't quite. When it was first uh, conceived, we didn't quite have that. Uh, kudos. You didn't have the, the hook, so to speak, or the twist. Of intact, like we didn't think yeah. that through for except for a little time of thinking about it and everything. And then at that point, when I knew it was different from the other ghost shows, I was like, oh, okay, that's, Daniel, that's, that's, that's fine. I wanted the twist. I wanted the Which twist. I, yeah. you and I sometimes, we, well, that'll be the struggle where I'll start trying to talk to the ghost and you're like, no, 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 no. make it mad. Right, right. I know. <laughs> well, because it's science where, yeah. uh, you know, all those other ghost shows, they don't actually have proof. And I think they're being too nice. They're doing it wrong. Mm. Yeah. So we are not too nice. No, we're not. Mm-hmm. Not too Ever. nice. Mm-hmm. Also, one comment that I see that kind of annoys me is people say, uh, I wish they would Jeff, take this seriously. Jeff, your head looks fat. <laughs> <laughs> I, wish, I wish they would take this seriously. We're taking it as seriously as we're yeah. capable yeah. of taking it. Yes. Taking it every, like, as seriously serious. as we take anything in our lives. Well, we seriously want to find these ghosts. I just want to point out that, like, the ball example. So I gave you guys a red ball. Yeah. That's the story beat, right? It was like, use this ball. I did not tell Michael to take out the fucking knife that he brought. No, Ryan brought, Ryan brought it. Ryan brought it. Brian they were not. The I, I say they weren't bringing it. I haven't either. seen and the knife again since. Michael took it was away. like, hey Daniel, can I pop this ball? I said, fucking go for it. Just make it a big, make a big deal. Out. We even this is some real achievement hunter. We did the whole thing. We had all the props and the and like you know the gadgets and everything. And Ryan's like, hey, I brought this knife. <laughs> and immediately the whole crew's like, you can't have that knife. Yeah, yeah, like, what the fuck like, are you doing with the people knife? People talking to me like, you can't have the knife. And I was like, I'm, just let me have the knife. And they were like. All right, don't take the knife out. <laughs> Use it. Then I got to the ball and I was like, I'm taking this knife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Knife's coming out. That was yeah. not planned at that all. Ryan literally was like, eh? He pulled it out of his pocket. <laughs> the did. only thing, plan- I'll say, the only thing like super planned in that episode was the book. Yeah, right, we, you we the prepped ball. the book. Yeah, yeah, and the the boo buddy. I did not br- tell Lindsay to bring any of the items that People she brought. That too. No, that's those all were all my you, snacks. That's all your. I love <laughs> fucking free. I love when Lindsay's on an episode because I get to find out what weird shit she brought. Yep. When we're filming. Like when Lindsay goes, all right, well, I have, and like, we're in the fucking house or penitentiary or whatever. And then it's like, oh, what's in her backpack? I want to know. The Mary Poppins bag. I yeah, didn't even I get to know. use everything I brought. I brought, like, coloring books. I know. And and it, you know yeah, we need to give you more time. <laughs> I think everyone else, like, if there's an episode where we have props or something in a backpack, like, that's been given to us. Like, hey, this has some relevance to the, to the haunt or, you know, like, we showed the, the clip of the train. You're right. If you've seen that with like, you know, like oh, maybe, you know, maybe you got a Tag Avenue, a train track. You well, know? Actually, I don't know. And that was a thing, too. Like that happened in like we knew we were going to tie Gavin to a train track ahead of time. Yeah. But how we did it and the gag that we came, we came, we up, came up with, up with we came up with it that like three hours before we filmed. We sure. saw a prop and a thing. And we went, oh, 
can we use that? And the guy that works there goes, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, we just yeah. Left it. Yeah, it was very and nice. I was like, can we do this? And Daniel's like, absolutely. But like, and then art came out, and they started putting stuff together, and it was fucking awesome. 100%. And it didn't exist five hours earlier. So far, anything Lindsay has in a backpack, she has brought. Yeah, yes. for sure. She has her own weirdo pack. Like, yeah. we prepare the Boo Buddy or... Whatever iteration of the Boo Buddy. <laughs> I, I get costumes. I think I've been in, in uh, some kind of costume almost every one I've been in, which I, I specifically yeah. asked for. Yeah. Speaking of which, we do have a clip that we've supplied you with. <gasps> oh, oh, really? From the first episode of Haunter. Which was where? This is the, in Shreveport. Okay. We went to Louisiana. Shreveport Auditorium, uh, Jeff's favorite place, and uh, Oakland Cemetery. And we have a short clip of Jeremy and Jack ghost hunting in the auditorium that no one's seen. You guys <gasps> have seen a lot of clips. Of, this is an exclusive clip. But they have props in their backpack. That's true. But I just told them they were there. I didn't tell them what to do with it. You know? So yeah. So the script said, do whatever you want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> There's no script for the ghost hunt. Yeah. <laughs> the nine I have an outline. I have an outline. I'm just like, hit, can these, we, beats, hit these beats. Can we roll that clip then? No. We don't no, know. It's the stage. It's the stage, dude. Hello, Shreveport! Audience of thousands of ghosts. Go ahead, make some noise! So Elvis loves sandwiches, right? He does love sandwiches. Very specific sandwiches, if I, I got some sandwiches, Jeremy. I brought peanut butter, banana, bacon sandwich, Jeremy. Famously, Elvis's favorite sandwich. I got one for you. Oh, awesome. I got one for me. Not only that, got one for the man himself. <laughs> Now, you don't have to be Elvis to enjoy this. You could feel like the king. I've got one other thing I want to try. You just stay here, play the music. Jack clearly has something in mind, but uh, so do I. Uh, this right here, people love this. It would really, really hurt them if something like that happened. Do you not like when bad things happen to your records? I mean, it's just a record, right? Yeah, dime a dozen. I got this thing right here. This thing will let me know if you're pissed. So if this is pissing you off, let me know. Hit me. Scratch me. Boo. Jack, is that you? Oh, oh, oh. Episode one. Stupid. That's episode okay. one. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, Christ. If I could yeah. ask, who makes some of those editing beat choices? Because they're great. The that's edit that's me and editorial. I figured I mean, that was you and like you said ceremony. Yeah, editorial. we have a team of four editors. We just brought on a fifth one. Nice. Sarah's the lead editor, Sarah Duell. She edited most of the episodes of Michael and Gavin in Immersion, and she edited Laser Team. And too. she used to be the person that uploaded all of our videos. Mm -hmm. Years like, and years ago. Yeah. Loaded up to being a fucking badass editor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they're, they're, they're doing those with sound effects and things like that. So what, that's an example of great. What is, props. Oh, wait, 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 be careful, be careful. You say ghost with sound effects. So what does that mean exactly? As in, we add a couple of, um, the, I think you're referring to like the music. The ramp, like ramping yeah. audio yeah. and yeah. stuff. Yeah. The, yeah. You can add Track. tension like that, but it's not like we're adding in like fake knocking or mm -hmm. fake stepping. No, or none like no. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I want to be very clear because people are like, oh, it's either adding in ghosts. Yeah. Like, no, 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 no. We, we no. do any, we just do small stuff to amplify the moment of like sometimes the cameras can't hear something so you add a little bit of that or footsteps so that so you like know ramp that up the volume of if there's a shot of footsteps in the ghost hunt the sound mixer might add what about footsteps. what about all the green screens tell them about that <laughs> yeah. well that's just that's who all around who plays you. the ghost <laughs> uh, what is the most challenging thing about making this show just working with you guys. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine that's the answer, right? It's true. It's true. Well, I have another Actually, chair, that's Eric. Yeah. Can you window me? You want another no. shot? I think it is. I love no. this window. <laughs> What's the show that's where true. they would just pop in through the window? Clarissa for like, every show. It Clarissa explains it all? There's a lot of shows. One, that, yeah. Oh, Sam, that's right? Sam yeah. came, through, he came through the window with a ladder. That dude was a yeah. creep. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like Wilson. I know. He didn't climb over the fence. Thank you, Tyler. You're not Eric. What's your catchphrase? He doesn't Eric. have a mic. Fuck Eric. Yeah, yeah. He said fuck Eric. Great jersey of you. Damn, dude. But Ooh, going back, it's absolutely free. true that working with us is the most difficult thing that you've done because you told me that verbatim. <laughs> yeah. Um, Why is it scheduling you? Why are we? Yeah. Is, is it is it just scheduling us because we're in a million different places, or are we difficult to work with? No, I think it's the scheduling. You yeah. said it's like, like sometimes. Cats. Yeah. The best. <laughs> well, no. Okay. So so. We all know. I like we know Lindsay's it. your favorite. 
<laughs> he said it Government a lot. He, he, he said, said it them over. Over. I have them jumping through hoops for over me and over again. to uh, to become my favorite. That that's that's how this works. As a I don't know. Make, make them compete. <laughs> Except yes. Michael. He Once you say Lindsay's your favorite, we all just hate you now. And we stop yeah. trying. That's how it works. Anyway, <laughs> you can't. No, what I like to lower. call the show or immersion, right? Is it's called Rats Through a Maze. Right, that's that's this type of show. That it's 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 not scripted, right? But you have story beats. So I make the maze, you guys run through it, but I don't tell you pretty much anything what to do between that. So for that, it's really fun. And then actually, I think you guys are becoming better performers too in the story times. This is fucking great. Like I keep rewatching them because they're so funny, so, they're so good. The one so with Jeremy dramatic. and Mike, I'm not gonna give it away, but the one with Jeremy and Michael in the cab, I have watched like five times. That it's, was fun because it's yeah. so fun. That was yeah. a good one. And, I haven't seen that. I one. usually I'm excited hate to see that one. That was a good. I'm one. excited for that one. I'm excited for the one we shot in London for season one. I want, to see, I want to see how that turns out. That's the most ridiculous thing we've ever done. Yeah. Really? I think so. Oh, that was oh, in yeah. a good way. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like yeah. hilarious. I thought you meant the actual like cut together. It was ridiculous. No, I, was I haven't like, seen it. Okay. Yeah. That yeah. I've only seen a rough cut of that. So they're, they're doing another pass. Another note, Daniel says a lot is stop pointing the camera at the ground. Or stop mm. all looking at the same thing. Unless there's a spider. We're yeah. all looking at the same thing. You're all looking at Jeff. There's five of you looking at Jeff. We've had yeah. multiple times where everyone's just on one person. Yeah. And the yeah. hardest yeah. thing to do with that is talking to someone where you're like, okay, I'm going to point the camera at you. And then they're pointing the camera back at you. But then you got to move the camera away because yeah. they're, they're both the infrared yeah. cameras and they just blind each other. When yeah. You're <laughs> no, it's true. And then sometimes it's better just self-film. Like, Michael's very good at self-filming. Mm -hmm. You're getting a lot better Whoa. at self-filming. Okay, I'm starting to like Daniel. Maybe no, I, do I, do I am not as yeah. he brought me back. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that, that, it's it's interesting. Everybody has their own strengths and weaknesses, mm -hmm. you know. And we even have to work at pairing you up, because um, what we've realized is that pairing up to like you guys have straight men and you know like who's a bad pairing. We're not going to be offended by it. It's just yeah, no. people that don't tell like, us who's off. Don't mess Gavin up. and anyone. Me and no, Jack. <laughs> it's not that there's a bad pairing. It's that there might be a stronger pairing when you have a skeptic and a, and a believer uh -huh. together or a ridiculous person and a straight man, right? Jack is a straight man, right? So if he's paired with Lindsay or Gavin or someone who's on the opposite spectrum, it's going to be stronger than if he's with Michael or Jeremy, right? And yeah. so, like, by mixing that up or throwing a third like person this. into the mix... It just I will say stronger. it's interesting because like Ryan and I have spent time together mm -hmm. and Ryan and I are both kind of on the same plane So we mm -hmm. think very similar about how we approach you guys but done... he's a wild card it's true. He's yeah, not yeah, a straight true. man <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys been paired together since the pilot? Yeah, uh, well this last this one last we shot we, we spent some time together in, no, I mean that was sort of we all kind of broke apart yeah. and we just kind of ended up together in Gonzalez. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, and I think a little bit no, you guys ended up together in Hellfire. Yeah, because I was with Michael in in uh, one hanging prison. jail. Yeah. yeah, and then Jack and I fucking we did time together. Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you did. Yeah. 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 Time. I don't think we'd be offended Michael. either, but is there a pairing that you like the best? Like, man, I really like seeing these two people together. Uh, I mean, I always like Team Nice Dynamite. You know, <laughs> that's that's always fun. <laughs> um, but uh, but that's low-hanging fruit. Yeah. Um, I'll say that. Low. <laughs> I will, well, to, to jump in with us, I will say one of my favorite things about working with Daniel is Daniel knows our content. So yeah. Daniel in like intrinsically understands us mm -hmm. and like he understands how to work with us in a way that a lot of people don't, which I really appreciate. He leaves yeah. in the farts. He yeah. does. He leans he's, into the farts. Well, like he, yeah. he like he's, he's so like familiar it. with us like and the it. inside jokes and stuff, and then he'll live it like he'll let us play with it. Not even just inside bit. jokes. It's funny you say that, because I think one of the biggest notes that you constantly give me or a couple of other people too is you're like, you gotta stop talking nonstop. Like you, we're, <laughs> we're so used to filling yeah. the void. We yeah. have to make sure we keep going. He's like, just be quiet. Listen for the ghosts. It's yeah. hard to make that transition is is from people that have to talk all the time. Yeah. Uh, I have trouble with it. Yeah, Jeff has a patience <laughs> of a fucking neck. Jeff might be the worst, actually. God damn. I mean, which I'm sur I was surprised by the other night. I was like, <laughs> why is Jeff? There's some, <laughs> some funny <laughs> shit with that. I can't. I got to feel like Jeff I can't, stay, can't stay quiet. And I hate rating you guys and annoying you while you're working. We but hate it's it just too. like. Right, so it's like, so like I hate being like, shut the fuck up and listen, and then it's like you stay, you stay quiet for about ten seconds, and then you're like, I didn't hear anything. It's like, oh, you, no, of course you did. Damn it. Jeff, Jeff's great too. We're like, even in those ten seconds, whether we're just being quiet or you know we have like recorders, we'll we're, we'll record and ask a question, and then looking for know, EVP, play it back to see if you can hear them on the recording. Even when Jeff's being quiet, you hear him go. <sighs> Yeah, it's, just, yeah. it's like yep. killing him. Yep. It's hard to turn off. Yep. No. Well, that's also like you're asking, and this I think it's gonna probably be a joke in the episode, but like 
when you're asking a, a ghost a yes or no question, I agree. how much time do you need to get into They're I not agree. writing a novel. They're saying yes or no. Yeah, but if you're not patient, they're not going to want to respond to you. It's true. It's true. You know? They got to summon the energy. It's too many rules. It's too many rules. It's so funny. These ghosts. Okay? That, was, that was Jeff, Michael, and I paired together. And then there was another one. It was... Uh, another group went on in London, and it was like three of us sitting in a room. We were dead silent for like five minutes. Yeah, and it was amazing. Better. And as but then like with Jeff's like five seconds. <sighs> like, Come the fuck on! Yep. Man. Well, yeah. it might be after after seven episodes. Uh, well, eight because we've shot eight. Now shot eight. We shot times. eight worth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the uh, I mean nine technically. No eight. No eight. We shot eight. Calm down. Don't question. Well, I know the show better. You so you're okay. well, no, nine. So if you count shitty. the pilot, it's nine. He's oh, nine. Oh, nine. Because okay. we shot a season two. Idiot. Oh, that doesn't, wow. That doesn't count. Oh, that doesn't count. Pilot doesn't count. That's not, that's not episode count. one. I mean, we've so, shot nine ghost hunts. Fair enough. Not, it's a pilot. But after, in, 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 Is it in over short yet? succession, Jack, um, the, uh, I think you're just tired at, at a certain point. You need a break. So, like... When we start filming a ghost hunts again, you might be a little bit more energetic. patient and energetic. Yeah. I think so well, too. I'm wondering, I don't think it's because of this, but for me, sometimes when I talk, like that's my reaction to being afraid. It's like, I'm gonna make noise, I'm gonna calm myself down and just keep it going. So, this, this mentality is all right. And that interfered with some of the um, entertainment value, I guess. Daniel was like, that doesn't really play super well. You should try and not do that as much. Do you think that's why you no, talk Jeff so much? No, Jeff just can't stop talking. Oh, okay. It's definitely <laughs> bad. It I think is, I'm just constantly, say. I'm constantly producing in my head. And I'm just trying to make it as funny as possible. And silence is, it's Golden. like anathema to comedy to me. And I just need to get out, I just need to get past that. But so then even true. when I fuck up, it's funny. I try to fuck up in a funny way. So that's true, except in this show, especially, and in horror genre stuff, you need silence to be interrupted. Intellectually, so if you're not quiet. Intellectually, <laughs> yeah, I totally know. It. Yeah. It's more like these emotional, <laughs> quiet, it's, these, it's these like gut <laughs> emotional impulses that make me feel like I need to fill gaps. But I know I need to be better about it, for sure. Yeah, and um, it, and, it depends on and, the location. And, and I have some time to think about it too, because we're, thank as much fun as I have, thank God we're done filming for a while, except for the one more story time yeah. we have to do. I, we're not gonna hunt a ghost again until next January? Next, Probably, yeah. yeah, next oh, year. Go ahead. Rick. I think that's actually something that's going to be kind of interesting about watching us do this is we are stumbling into this with very little experience. Where a lot of the other ghost hunting shows, I think they're they're kind of on top of their game when they start doing it. They're pros. I think we're these... stumbling into it like, all right, how, what works? How do we do this? It's What's... also not all we live and breathe. I right? think yeah. those yeah. people actually like them. cared about ghosts and hunted them before they got shows. I care. Yeah, true. How dare you? Well. <laughs> Care I've lot, started but reading I mean, books like on research. It. Ryan's, yeah, like Ryan's going. I've got a library. We've got some converts. If Jeremy was here, he'd say something different than at the yeah. beginning of the season. I would say Ryan does try and like make sure that we have other variables in place, or like we we test things to make sure it's not actually ghosts that are happening. We did some there. legit science we in did. Gonzales. I will say <laughs> Ryan and Jeremy are the two that have like surprised me the most in their growth through the series and and how they uh, how they've like they how they've evolved with their opinions and like how they perform mm -hmm. like jeremy's started to become less of a skeptic and more of a believer because of mm -hmm. some situations that he's been in and then ryan has gone like he's gotten really into it like ryan's the techie science guy but he's gotten really into the supernatural aspect of it too and it's kind of gone that route dark tech dark tech I yeah. mean, <laughs> it's an evolution of where i started <laughs> and it's but it's, it's fascinating to watch <laughs> it's dark it's gonna happen tech. it's yeah you gotta evolve it's gonna be great. When it's Ryan gonna... comes in and he's like, I just bought this new book on how to summon a demon. I'm really excited about it. It's like, <laughs> well, it's better than me radioing him in the middle and saying, Well, I just Googled this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. You know, but because books I'm... were the original Google. That's true. Yeah, true. That's true. I, I'm just so entrenched in story. <laughs> Which every one of the books that I bought uh, had the option to get a Kindle version, and I said, uh, no. no. And give me an actual paperback yeah. because it, it doesn't feel right to iPad a fucking book on the occult. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. How, you're, you're right. how important do you think the pranks are to the show? They're growing uh, less and less important. I feel like I it's think. become less of an emphasis. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's less of it. I think they they can still have. I mean, the, one of the episodes I watched tonight had a little prank in it, and a big prank, and then some don't. You know, yeah. and it's just, I think it depends. It really always, this show especially, even though it's, I mean, it's a ghost show and you don't see the stories really come out in ghost shows, we emphasize story a lot yeah. in this show. So if it helps with the story, then yeah, we can do it. But I mean, there's like, I would say half of them don't have pranks. Have there been any pranks that you've wanted to do that you've decided we can't do or that they're too dangerous? 
too dangerous too mean probably or, yeah oh too mean yeah but i mean that's one, like <laughs> we did one to Lindsay in missouri that that was in retrospect i felt that felt mean to me yeah, <laughs> yeah. i thought it was in the fucking moment i was oh, i was excited yeah. i thought it was fucking hilarious well, it's, like, <laughs> yeah, it's always funny when you're <laughs> kicking the guy it's yeah so later, well, it's like, you know, like oh we don't, for like it. we're about to make a pregnant woman throw up right now like yeah, that's, that's not so good. funny when i'm hearing the cast say daniel's really fucked up have you like <laughs> yeah. have you guys have you guys heard what he wants us to do to Lindsay? Yeah. Yeah. she's pregnant she's pregnant and blah 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 there's so that i'm like i don't give a shit it's funny <laughs> <laughs> just don't just don't hurt her yeah. <laughs> you know <laughs> it's just safe. Yeah. Everywhere else is okay. Yeah. I did see one comment going back to like people worrying about it being scripted. Yeah. Could could you change writer to researcher? Is what they suggested. No. I, you know we I, do I, have yeah. a we do have a researcher actually. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, but those there is a five page script for the clubhouse, so it is a writer. But, Fair enough. Yeah. It's and written. Fair I think part of the the thing that people got to get over too is we are what you're watching in the clubhouse is us writing the script well that's right. it too it's, you're saying it's improv like the 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 reenactments are scripted but they're not right. really when we're still sitting here making shit up like when jack's, the when jack's is, lip syncing he's lip syncing to michael yeah. right yeah, yeah. And which is and it's michael's something that he just said off the top of his head it's yeah. not in a script that then michael said and then we reenacted it's the, my favorite example it's hard not to spoil it, so I, I'm gonna try not to. There's a. It, it was from. It was from Magnolia Hotel. There's a. There's a. Story goes that this guy murdered his wife, right? And you guys were telling that story, and I said, come up with different ways to kill this person. Like that might be funny for us to reenact that. And we go through some really light things. We're like, no, no, no. Like really go for it. And Jeff just really gives me something that's off the wall crazy and Ezra's like there's no way we're gonna do that I was like oh we're doing it <laughs> and we ended up recreating that and building the thing that we needed oh, was that the thing that Ryan and I did yeah oh okay yeah. and yeah because he was like where are we gonna get that it's huge <laughs> and I was like we're gonna do it it's funny you know so there's things like that where I can't plan if you want to have a specific weapon or a specific yeah. whatever. We've, we've also know? learned that that story time it can be weaponized for us mm -hmm. because pretty much whatever <laughs> we say. Yes, now we yeah. need to, we we all agree that we want to work orgies into all the clubhouses. Yeah, yes. <laughs> lots, lots of attractive women. Yeah. And I gotta people. stop referencing movies. Yeah. No, you don't. No, you don't. As long as they're good movies, even okay, if they're bad movies. I will usually try and make them happen. You've gotten two in there so far? Two that I can think of. Yeah, and they're yeah. really good. I got one. one. I'm in one so. for sure. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. That's a good one. Jesus that was Christ. Jack That's in the premiere. You look beautiful. Yeah, I give it a shot. I the mean, premiere is very good. I've had some wonderful Jack moments in Let's Plays, don't get me wrong, but that's like peak Jack. Yeah, I totally was... agree. I totally agree. And I, it's funny, I saw a comment on, I think it was maybe even the pilot. Somebody said, man, Jack's a really good actor. He doesn't get enough credit for it. And I t completely and totally would like to echo that sentiment because the thing you do is acted so well. <laughs> it's really good. Uh, it's a, you did a really good job. It was, uh, yeah. That I'm, was not, I'm not one to compliment very often. Yeah, you well, did a very, no. that, that very was, good That was one of those things where, like, I got to set and I'm like, okay, what am I doing? And they're like, okay, we're going to dress me up like this. And I'm like, all right, that's weird. And I walk out, I was like, all right, let's fucking do it. <laughs> and it's kind of <laughs> went to town, so. I will That's say being as vague as possible, but uh, watch the pilot. Orgies and Jack going to town. Another yeah. fun part of the show is I get to recast you every time. Yeah. Right? I get to put you in that role yeah. or a priest outfit or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And the funnier it is, is usually the, the direction I go. You know? And like, I think Michael's going to play something pretty ridiculous in Gonzalez. <laughs> it's going to be a, it's going to be interesting to see that happen. Um, he's going to play. I don't want to give it away. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. don't give it that's away. A, that's like late in the season too. That's so. yeah. episode six. Yeah. That's, that'll be episode six, I hope. Yeah. I saw someone ask, um, "Am I worried that I'm going to have a cursed baby?" Yeah. Because of all of the places we've been, for um, sure. I'm excited it's that three. I'll have a cursed baby. <laughs> you've you've been trying to contact three children so yeah. far. They're all on if dead, you include Stacy, there's, there's so many dead kids. Yeah. There's all over so the place. Dead kids. And there's dead animals. Now History's too. littered with them. That's an interesting question. Somebody asked what each. Uh, member's favorite haunt was so far. Okay. Ooh. Uh, mine would be, or we'll go with you, sir. I mean, London was pretty awesome. We did two locations in England, and I did the first one. That was so, Hellfire yeah. Caves for you? Yeah, yeah. I, Hellfire Caves was pretty good because of some of the fun we got to have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the story, uh, story, story time for Hellfire Caves was amazing. But I would yeah. say the best haunt w for me would be Michelin Priory in, in London. Yeah. That place was. I don't want to say. It was interesting. Well, can we. Fascinating. Can we, can we mention what's up with that one? The fact that. No. 
the fact that what? You're not going to see that episode for a while? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's okay. a season two episode. It's yeah, season yeah. Two yeah. Episode. But it was um, a season yeah. premiere of season two, probably. <laughs> so it'll come out like next fall. Probably like a year yeah. out, unfortunately. But yeah, that, 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 that was, I was going to echo that. Like Mission and Priory, if we were talking about like just overall, that was by far my favorite. But I already said it, so you got to pick a different one. No, it's not. You can say that one. We'll I probably get to I like the uh, Sawmill. Yeah. Sawmill was a Sawmill great one. Sawmill been, was my favorite until been, Mission. I would say, I think, like, I feel like I've been on, like, the least, just with me and Lindsay swapping and, like, baby juggling. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've, I've missed out on a couple, literally. Uh, I think you're, Saw, tied, with, Sawmill I think was you're up, tied with Gavin for the least. I'm in, he's just a flaky yeah. piece of shit. Yeah. He hates everyone. I'm in yeah. four How episodes. many babies does he, he have? Wa- he likes the show. Zero. He likes being tells He me. does like it. Daniel, you leave the room and he hates you. <laughs> That's not true. I, I leave the room and I hate him, so it's a mutual... <laughs> well, you hate him in the room, too, so it's Well, yeah, out. I'm not going to not hate you to your yeah, face. Yeah, yeah Gavin, he's, shit. A, he's a sneaky snake. <laughs> Ryan, how about you? What has been your favorite? God, it has to be Hellfire, because we did a lot of stuff in Hellfire. Yeah, you were in, Ryan was you were, fantastic. You were in yeah, rare form in Hellfire, for sure. Um, Jack, you say Michelin? Michelin, the Hanging Jail was a lot of fun, too. Hanging Jail is... There was, there was some goofy shit. Apparently, my favorite part of Hanging Jail is not going to be in the episode, okay, though. Jack, it's okay. So, no. I th- well, it might be released uh, as, you know, on social I've talked about it before, my... so I won't, I won't, I won't miss it. There's a lot of extra content. How about you? Uh, <coughs> Hellfire's fun, but I, I don't know. I like Sawmill. Yeah. As far as... But you mean, like, my favorite hunt, like, of production or the edit? I don't care. Daniel you know, the person. Daniel what the did person. You like what, what, what episode did you have the most Take, fun on? Strip away the all most the fun on. Did you the, enjoy the most? Probably the most fun on because I wasn't sweating my balls off. Was um <laughs> Dude, that probably was nice. probably Michelin. Yeah. Like Michelin was went, so good. went the good. best and was like <laughs> Interesting. There was, there was a, there was a moment. hilarious what we did say, to people in there. There was, like, there, there was an isolation <laughs> moment where it was all of us. One person was isolated and everyone else was together. And like I can, I can, I'm just so excited about the back and forth cutting between the two of them that it's I'm I'm very. There's very a lot of they're gonna be outtakes for. Oh, God, that's dude. funny. That might that be a that has the, the most like. <laughs> someone said. Someone said Jack sounds like Tom Hardy because his favorite part isn't in the show. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, like 40, best forty minutes of best Venom. Forty minutes. It was the clumsiest episode. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> what I really no, like. No shin left unbruised. Honestly, it's not really like a per episode, but man, I love doing it with Jeremy. Yeah, I just feel I was like mention something with Jeremy. just like getting into it. I I get not to say paired up with him a lot, but just like when he's because we have a similar thing. You know, he's there to fight the ghosts. I'm there to antagonize. But as you yeah. even saw in that last clip, he antagonizes as well. Oh yeah, yeah you know, yeah. both very like yelly and like I'll kill you. You're already dead. I'll kill you again. You know, fight the ghost. And this last one we did. I think was the first one I've done without Jeremy. I think he's been on every episode I've been on except yeah. the one that we just shot. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I miss him. He goes yeah. from zero to losing I, his guy. I, yeah. I kept bring bringing him up, up in the episode, like, guys, we got to do this for Jerry. He found a new noise we on the show. This guy for Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> he just like, and I think the thing about it is doing the hunts with Jeremy, you know, we go, we do them, then we leave. And there's usually a fair amount of time between the ghost hunts. There's so much involved of like doing the clubhouse scene and then doing the, you know, the, the live action parts. And, but like every time we do a ghost hunt, I just think like Jeremy's meter doesn't reset. Like, yeah. He goes up a little from a ghost hunt, and then the next one he goes further. And like hanging jail was one of them, where like, oh, I was just God. like, that was the moment where I'm like, Jeremy is a freak. <laughs> he's lost like, yeah, he's these hunt. ghost hunts are stacking <laughs> up. Or like, like, were you there in Magnolia when we yeah. locked him in that closet? Yeah, I was. Yeah. I was on the other <laughs> side of yeah, it. Yeah. I was. I'm, God, yeah. Damn. But it's like even watching that clip of of uh, you know episode one of him breaking the records. I'm like, that was normal, Jeremy. Yeah, that was, that was he's before feral. Now, yeah, yeah he I literally. Mean, there's so many times where I'll talk to Jeremy over the radio. And he responds with, and "Is like, there a haunted yeah. McDonald's that you can get, Chef Mike?" Oh, oh if he knows, if oh, you know was, one, was that Mike asking? If too, you probably, know one, know. no, somebody probably know. asking for it. There yeah. is yeah. there McDonald's does without. I guess. Guys, by the way, the McRib is back. Just so McDonald's does make a cameo in one of the episodes. I've got sixteen thousand tweets. Oh, that's right, it does. There's definitely a McDonald's cameo in one of the episodes. (laughs) Got to cut the short. Get out. Have I only missed one episode? Are you talking about lunch, Jack? I am. Are you hungry for lunch? I could use some lunch right now. This is the perfect time for me to tell you about Blue Apron. Oh. This episode of Off Topic is brought to you by Blue Apron. Blue Apron delivers farm fresh ingredients and step by step recipes to your door. Don't know how to make it? That's fine. They'll tell you what to do. Their mission is to make incredible home cooking accessible to everyone, even Jack. Blue Apron achieves this by supporting a more sustainable food system, setting the highest standards for ingredients, and building a community of home chefs. You can let Blue Apron do the meal prep for you every week. They send you at least three recipes built with your busy schedule in mind. All the sauces, spices, and ingredients are prepared for you. 
The recipes are quick and easy with insanely delicious flavors, and it's all perfectly portioned. Skip meal planning, get rid of your grocery list, and let Blue Apron help you get straight to cooking. I love Blue Apron, Lindsay. We've been eating it for years now. We had some, we pizza had some pizza last, last night. night, some blue pizza. It was very delicious. delicious. Uh, I like it. I, what are we having tonight? I'm not sure. I don't know. Oh, no, tomorrow. My uh, tomorrow we're Blue eating. Apron Volume Two book is getting quite she's got, full. She's got I'm two volumes volume of, of Blue Apron. It's getting quite packed. She uh, makes a binder. She punches three ring holes in them. Do you? it's very it's them. a very serious process. Meat category. So check out this week's menu and get your first three meals for free at blueapron.com slash off topic. That's blueapron.com slash off topic to get your first three meals free. Blue Apron. A better way to cook. It's true. Blue apron, as they say. Taste the apron. It's Taste blue. It. Yeah. <laughs> if the apron was delicious. Edible apron. Edible apron. That's, that was one of their alternate names. Yeah. Edible apron. Before we move on from Jeremy, too, I will mention, you weren't there. So you're not part of this conversation. Oh. Well, I'll just leave. Burn. All right. Hi, Michael. I gotta go. I was I gotta gotta go. Go. Sorry. Next Thanks, guys. Ryan has a new seat opened up you. if you want it. Good I'll man. be back but, later. By the way, you, guys just, you guys just tell me to fuck off whenever. Yeah, Daniel, <laughs> 10 minutes, huh? You're no, part you're of the fine. crew now. This, this is going well. The, the audience Stick around. Like, there's, some, there's some good this podcasts. This is the podcast. Podcast. Some People said, this is fascinating. People like, yeah. like the peer behind the veil. Yeah. Whenever we give them the opportunity. At the state penitentiary in Missouri. 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 Yeah. Jefferson City. Jeremy, he goes balls to the wall, not only in the ghost hunt, which is great and adds to the energy, but he goes balls to the wall in the reenactment. And there's one moment where he's reenacting being physically uncomfortable for reasons that I can't say. <laughs> oh, and that was probably the oh funniest my God. part of the shoot. <laughs> that was with the entire crew. He went so hard. And all the extras, everybody was laughing and nobody could stop. <laughs> I know, like, there's certain moments where I've, I've taken what you guys have based, written, and I write it down, whatever. And uh, and I don't know if it's gonna work or if it's, I'm just like, is this funny, is this funny? I send it to you, you're just like, this is gonna be great. Um, and then when we get on set, I know it's working when th the producer is laughing and you're laughing behind monitor and the extras are laughing. I'm like, okay, this is what I'm really curious <laughs> about what this is. I wasn't there for that, I'd leave. Oh, that's right. Oh yeah, there. shit. Yeah, you forgot. Yeah. Yeah. Like everybody. Yeah. yeah. So, so I so the we typically the way it works is we shoot for we shoot our haunt and then the next night we shoot the story time. I would recreation. say that's typical. Yeah, well, it's, we, it's on location. We've been yeah. on location. Yeah. Because sometimes the story time it's so historically important we have to shoot at that location. Yeah. And so for Missouri it, it landed where it was the streamies were on the recreation day. So I had to leave. I shot the story. I shot the ghost hunt. And then I had to leave to go to the streamies out in Los Angeles, and so I missed out on that. Yeah, did we win one. Lore Munder we, says we, we Daniel did. is we wonderful. Did. We did. What did we get? Point that we, out. We're, That's not wonderful. For campaign, game. Daniel is wonderful. Oh, nice. Aww. I just want to point Lore that out. Oh, is that so your friend fine. from high school? That you paid <laughs> 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 no, Thank yeah. you. I'll send your five dollars in the mail. <laughs> we'll, talk, we'll talk about extra life here in a little bit, <laughs> but uh, but yeah. So um, so I wasn't there for it. So that that's sad. That's like that's some of my favorite stuff we get to do. And so, like, missing out on that, it's like... Oh, yeah, man. I was sad, too, because we all had to do your work for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think when, Jeff picked up a lot of my lines. That was an intense shoot. That was a late shoot. It was... Yeah, so part oh, of... Can we tell the car story? <laughs> yeah, we can. But, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, you can. But before before you say that, the uh, there's two things. Like, the, the hardest part about this shoot, not for me, but for everybody else, I think, is just the locations, getting you guys there, making sure that we can actually film there and do it at a reasonable hour. Missouri was not one of those places, even though... I will say the second thing about going to all these locations and traveling around, and I think it will be consistent. All of these people that we talk to are usually the sweetest people, mm. you know, and they're very nice. They're very accommodating. And um, so far that's in the, in Missouri, like going just to the like little convenience store, or the um, souvenir shops and everything, sweetest people. So I just, Everybody we've seen is really fantastic. They have been great. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> well, half the reason we went with inconclusive over not haunted was we didn't want to have to look the people in the eyes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> that, happened, that happened on one shoot where I saw, like, it was something we didn't really find anything. And they're out there so excited to hear what was going to happen. And we're like, yeah, there's nothing here. Well, here's they're the like, thing. Oh, it's, I'll say this. For like, anybody watching and, and, and who wants to potentially go visit these places, Nothing that we're doing is actually saying whether it could be or couldn't oh, be. Like, yeah. That's the thing. And we want to respect the fact that this is their business. Go so it's yeah. like, yourself. that said, uh, walk it uh, uh, It's back Wilson. In. Oh, dude, yeah. there's a, I had to climb ah. a tree. Oh, apparently I told the car story last week, so I don't need to tell it. I guess oh, okay. I told it on the off topic last week. Did you? Okay. okay. The, the car story? I think it was two weeks ago. For oh, okay. me. Oh, shit. The is sweetest that person that we've been with. two weeks ago? I think it was Louisiana week? at the Shreveport Auditorium. It was, it was the woman who was working a uh, wardrobe for us. It was an older woman. She seemed like maybe she was in her 60s. 
and Ryan's watched Adventure Time. You've seen Adventure Time. Yeah, I've heard she of it. Was, she was tree trunks. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, that was her the she's entire time. She's like, nice. Oh, y'all come over here. I'll get you dressed. Do you need I'll a make snack? You an apple pie. <laughs> I was like, you're a sweetie boy. Can I adopt you as my I grandmother? I love you, Finn. You're my favorite. <laughs> They'll know. Mm -hmm. yeah. They'll know. Okay. We, Don't we also get upset when any of us can't make it to a shoot, I think. Like, this is one of the most fun shows that we do. Oh, yeah. So if any of us miss out, we're like, oh, damn it. Yeah, the, the part of the mm -hmm. benefit of being the co creator of the show uh, is that I get to make sure I'm in the Yeah. Yeah, well, there, there was, yeah there, but then you can't complain about it. There was oh, one. I can complain he about does, it. He does, do both. <laughs> he does do both. He does Dude, do both. Dude, I don't complain about both. this show. I love this show. Yeah, there was one. This that, show's like my fucking white whale. There's one episode that I was scheduled, or I wasn't scheduled to be on, whale, but it sounds like you may, you may have worked me into the show. Yeah, you know how you enjoy episode. story times? You won't. Yeah. You won't. Yeah. 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 Like, I'm not, I'm not going to be part of the hunt. I might be part of the story. Well, here's the thing. The other thing about, like, yeah, when you leave is that then I have fewer people to do the story times with. Yeah. So I can't. Have, usually I like to have you guys for half a day and then say, okay, F.O. And then you bring the other people in, but um, sometimes people get screwed with a whole day. Because, yeah. you know, so it's just like, it's just drawing straws sometimes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know? Well, I'm upset when I miss shoots. One, because it's fun. I like interacting with you guys, especially in ghost-related content. Two, it's me missing out on potential ghost like revelations and it's experiencing true. things. For example, the second place you guys shot in England, I was like, I barely ever text Daniel. And this is like two texts back. I go, hey, anything creepy happened the second Achievement Haunter shoot? Bummed I couldn't be there. And Tanya goes, yep, haunted as fuck. And I went, damn it. <laughs> I think I just heard a ghost escape Jeff. Yeah. yeah. yeah thanks. If anybody caught that. Uh, Dude, yeah. every haunt that I'm on that Lindsay is not, and we're on, we're on a couple together. I mean, we, the one we just did, we were on together. But there yeah, is a lot of switching together. between Lindsay and I mm -hmm. because of, like, you know, new parent duties. Um, but every time I'm on a haunt, I'm usually like I'm doing it. I'm really on my phone or whatever. She'll text me like, oh, hey, what's going on or whatever. I'm like, oh, you know, maybe this or that or whatever. And then I just get like 50 texts. Like, then what happened? What happened now? All right, I'm doing research. Like, all the time. She'll be at home. It's like, <laughs> you know, we do them until like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. It's like 3.30 in Austin. She's like, all right, this is what I found on Wikipedia. Does any of this sound like what you're expecting? And I'm like, leave me alone. I'm in the middle of filming. Like, what are you talking about? We should she just, Skype she just can't. Lindsay in. 100%. <laughs> she's just Karen sitting there and iPad. she's like. I She's mean, like the Oracle. She's I like, already, I'm on the computer database. I already like scoured the depths of YouTube for anything and everything. So now if I have a topic to research, I'm absolutely going to go. Oh, you're the lady in the chair. I am. Yeah. I am the lady in the chair. The Oracle. You said that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, and I can try Batman. and give you as... That's Batman yeah. versus Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah, I like having you in there because um, you're receptive to all this Good stuff. Walk. And you're funny as hell. So it's like the best of both worlds, you know, and that's why you're a good pairing with... Anybody. Same with Gav. Gavin's another good pairing with anybody because he's such a whiny little bitch, you know? So it's like. <laughs> oh! Damn. I will say. He's just. <laughs> and he has not been in one yet. But if you think Gavin is the whiniest, bitchiest of anyone ever, would be Alfredo. Oh, oh my God. The guy oh, is like. He wouldn't even go in the room. He won't go in the room if there's a bug in the room. <laughs> like in Achievement Hunt, like Achievement Hunter, like where we yeah, were. I, I picked up a cricket. He's like, ah, oh, get the fuck. Like, it's a he cricket, is so. like, he'll die. Yeah. yeah, he'll die. He will be dead. He'll die. He did the the you did the haunted house with him thing. And we, again, we already talked about that. But he was like having a fucking heart attack. He, I didn't think he was gonna make it. Yeah, Meg was laughing at him the whole time. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. It was like, Idiot. It was like two shows. Idiot. Going on. A haunted house walking through, and then the Alfredo walks through a haunted house show. And like you'd think, even you know, you hear about that, and maybe your defense to that is like, all right, you know, I wasn't that scared, or whatever. His, you'd be like, Alfredo, I heard you were. He's like. Bullshit! That shit was scary! I, why would you do that? <laughs> it's just like full on acceptance of you. Yeah. Just like, hell no! Why would I? Why are people doing this? Gonna, I don't want to do this. You'll get a taste of that in. Uh, he watched the, one of the uh, the uh, Legion VR. What was that? Exorcist. Exorcist? Yeah. Exorcist. Mm -hmm. He was. He sat in on one of the recordings for that. You get a little taste of that. Was he in the last one? No, no, no watch it. But it was like two or three. I forgot. Oh. All right, Daniel. So if someone wants to support. Achievement Haunter. How, how would they do that? In general. Like, I mean, like, like you know, the idea that we want to get people to watch, some, some, you know, sign up for first. What, what do they do? Got to sign up for first. Watch. Tell your friends. Get your friends to sign up and watch. Um, because if we don't get signups, we uh, don't get to more, make more. Right. Basically, that's that's how this works. Um, and there's going to be more content that you guys have made coming out after Haunter that I know about. You guys probably talked there's, about. There's got to be like an outtake episode because we have so much. If I done. find the time, Jack, I will try. Put in that fucking thing that got cut. Should we put that behind the paywall? 
I don't know, maybe, maybe like a little trailer or something. It's like, oh, if you want to see more, go yeah, uh, Rooster Teeth. It should be a 30 minute. Also, Daniel and we I have. Probably, we could probably do that. Daniel and I have already started laying the foundations to work on future projects together for new stuff we want to do for next year and beyond. And if this fails, we probably won't get a shot. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not just supporting Achievement. I'm being serious. Yeah. If you want to support Achievement Haunter, by please sign up for first and watch it this and tell people about it but if you, you're not yeah, just supporting the achievement haunter this. you're supporting every project that daniel and i want to do with the achievement hunter guys after yeah 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 so like all the future stuff. or anything i want to do and i'm sure there will be another whole... way that if you're already a first member that you can support the show as well yeah like if, it, for if, all if the any merchandise comes out, out going buy it demand that we make achievement haunter merchandise but just word of mouth i mean we hope we we hope they like it you know and i think word of mouth is just as important and if you don't like it that's cool too you don't have to pay for it if you don't like it i mean like i watched the first two episodes it's like fuck this is like an actual show like this is like a real show that i would watch on uh, you know, a TV network. That's the goal. And it's like, man. How do you guys feel? You keep asking me how I feel, but how do you guys feel making something that it's you most, feel is that it's awesome. quality? Oh, it's, it's, it's the most fun I've ever had. Yeah. <laughs> it is e done it. <laughs> easily the most fun I've ever had <laughs> professionally at Richard. In Missouri, I, Jeff and I had like a sappy heart to heart moment. Jack was there, but he didn't add to it. <laughs> <laughs> Jack was there just You're like, like whatever. In the <laughs> like, Wait, what? <laughs> No, we're, I, we're just talking about how, like, you know, in life, like, things inevitably end. All my things must end. Oh, and we okay. were like, man, it's really going to suck when this show is over, when we get, like, too old and this has oh, yeah. to stop. And we were just talking about how much we enjoy doing it and how this is some of the most fun that we've ever had. I try to keep that in perspective. Like, when I'm on a shoot, I think every Achievement Haunter episode I film is one ep is one day closer to the last one I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I try yeah. to appreciate each That's one. That's a really dark way to think about this. Yeah. <laughs> it's the way you got to think about this stuff. You don't want to be caught by surprise. You wanna, you you have, know, like, like, you're going to be doing this for the rest of your life, and then the fucking rug's pulled out from under you. Get fucked by a ghost while you can. Yeah. So yeah. please watch I'm the episodes. Get, get your friends to subscribe so we can make a billion of these. October things. 31st, Halloween. Next week. First episode. Yeah. It'll be so weekly soon. after If you that. watch it enough episodes, weekly. Alfredo will be in season two. It's confirmed yeah. Now he'll quit. the pilot is I think he'll quit. the pilot is available for free on YouTube right now, right? No, so it's on our side. Oh, no, sorry, the story side time up. the story time is on YouTube. No, no, the, the whole I thought the whole episode the whole was episode on is available on, on roosterteeth.com okay. for the public. Um, okay, so you just go make an account. You don't have to be a first member to watch the full pilot episode. Right, and, and keep the, in mind it's a pilot. Pilots look and are different. Yeah. Sometimes even structurally. From what becomes the episodes, yeah. there are, there are some differences. We made a lot. Jeremy's made two feet taller, yeah. like in the main series. Sure. We yeah. gave him, got him some yeah. space. <laughs> we just kept breaking his legs and then letting him grow. Stretch. Breaking his legs. Yeah, yeah you, it's a painful break process. Yeah, it yeah. works. You get a couple inches though. Mm. Yeah. So. So watch that. Uh, I think my ten minutes are up. Yep. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming so you guys, by. Thanks, Daniel. Whoa, 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 whoa! Out the window. Go out the window. Yeah, please. Oh, Jesus really? Christ. It's yeah. like lava chicken again. Oh, yeah. God. Oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> Ow. Daniel. <laughs> he smashed his head on the window. <laughs> Check the grounds. He fell out. No, don't worry, incredible. everybody. The window's okay. Yeah. 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 Woo. Woo. Good. All right. Thank you, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> That was incredible. Oh, That's the best exit ever. Are you all right, Daniel? <laughs> you know what? He's That's good. Amazing. He's good. He's Protect good. that thing. We you need that to make good decisions. <laughs> him leaving through the window? That was in the script. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The, the writers had him go through Before the window. Before we started, they were like, hey, Daniel's going to come on. He's going to say 10 minutes. It's going to be about an hour. But when right. he leaves, make sure he goes through the window. All right. Daniel's no right. He's, got to, he's got to hit his head bit. He wants mm. to do. Do we have any more ads? It's funny. I will yeah. say that is a more. that is a fucking talented kid, that Daniel. Yeah. yeah. I really like working with him. I've known Daniel. Kid, he was old. at the poker game where I met Bernie and <laughs> where I met Bernie and Joel. Like yeah. I've known I've known him for ages. He was like it's 15, I think, or 16 when I met him. What are you doing playing poker with a 16 year old? Taking his money. <laughs> that was all. You know, I don't know. I, That's I don't the first know. time. <laughs> that was the first time I ever met Daniel. Was yeah. at a poker game. Yeah. Jack's when I was visiting chat room. Oh, yeah, yeah. I uh -huh. did the poker game with you and Bernie, yeah, and so. Daniel was there. Oh, that's right. I met him before most people that work here now. <laughs> Probably before me. Uh oh. Yeah. I yeah. I saw him before you in Austin. Yeah. There you go. Apparently Alfredo's fighting back on social media. So oh, what's he saying? Will not. <laughs> he's saying no. He's fighting back. Yeah, because he's a coward. <laughs> Come on. He's a fucking coward. I we'll sit next to Alfredo him. in the we'll main trick room. Him. I've tried to like gently coax him into it. Like, oh no, he'll fun. be there. Here's he'll the thing. Enjoy it. He'll coax it. He, he just says that white people are crazy and want to die. And he's not gonna be a part of that. Here's the thing, right? <laughs> so we're going we're going to dinner tonight with Alfredo. Oh, nice. We just do it again and lie. And be like, and eh, we're going to this really nice place. It's at the airport. We're gonna need yeah. a pack, you know, and then bam, achievement hunter. Boom. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Kicks off.
Nothing. It's out of town a little bit. He yeah. was fucking telling a story. Shit, did he tell this on the podcast? I don't want to repeat it. I don't think he did. Maybe it was in a video. But long story short, he was telling a story that uh, uh, Jackie, his girlfriend, she surprised him one year for his birthday, right? And like, like blindfolded him. She drove around like in circles to like wow. to like lose like you know where we're going. Drove out in the middle of nowhere. Got out, was like, okay, take take your you know your blindfold off, and there was just a plane, and he's like, what? And she's like, I bought us skydiving tickets, like to go skydiving. Oh wow! And he, wow. And he was like, nope. <laughs> she's like, no, come on, whatever. And he's like, nope. And then so then him telling the story, I'm waiting for him to be like, so I went up there, he's like, yeah, so she jumped and I didn't. What? <laughs> yeah, so he didn't do it. Are you wow. fucking kidding she, me? She was like, yeah, she got my ticket and she jumped she on the plane. He was, like, was like, no, she it was went the up best there. birthday gift ever. I didn't have to jump. Yeah, he said, you letting me not go was the gift. Oh. Yeah, and I was like, what? And so I was like, that's Alfredo's level. What a yeah. dick he move. He was like, fuck no, I'm not doing it. She Hell got to no. go twice. Two I don't know. I would hope. <laughs> she didn't. But yeah, she went up and did it and he was just like, I'll be down here waiting. Oh, what a horrible human. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To be fair, I don't think I could skydive. I'm not sure heights. we're going to get him on Achievement Hunter if that's the social pressure he can resist. I guess he said yeah. it on the last podcast. <laughs> Good God. We just it's need the one though. shot of him doing like the, ah, here it goes, and then he leaves or something. <laughs> He's going to be in a It will literally be him like walking in and then leaving the frame. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> yeah. This <laughs> is so here we are in downtown when just Alfredo just walks off. He's like, oh, shit. All right. All right, bye. It just yeah. hard cuts and someone else is in his place. Short one, it's Alfredo. <laughs> Man, I, I'm, I'm excited for this to hit. I'm excited to see um, the community's reaction to it. Because, like, I mean, we put a lot of work into this. And, like, it, I was going to say the first time that pilot episode, we, we got down to Yorktown. And I was like, oh, there's a full blown crew here. And, like, we don't do a lot of, like, live action stuff where it's like, oh, there's like actual like production trucks when and they're grips like, there's and lights. A trailer, you know, you're like, what yeah. the fuck? Yeah, it's, it's very very unique for us. We all share a trailer. And so, and then like now we've gotten a little bit more used to it, but still, it's it's intimidating. Be like, oh, you know, like all these cameras are pointed at you. You know, if, if you don't make this interesting, there's you know, that's, you're ruining that's, everyone's that's time. That's the pressure of recording. Live. That's why part of why I don't like to do that's real stuff. work. It's like there's describing. like 45 people sitting around waiting for you not to fuck up, yeah. Yeah. so they can yeah. move on with their lives and continue their job. I think it's a nice blend because at the same time we talked about like it's achievement hunter so we improv with each other we can bounce off each other there's a little bit more of like a casual feel as opposed to many other sets i've been on especially news oriented sets where it's like you stay on task you do not fuck off everything has to go like this so i i don't know i feel like it's more relaxed i, I guess it. well the downside is the ghost is like the the other talent and it's we're true, always yeah. sitting here trying to okay let's let's get that talent his call time was an hour ago <laughs> where, where the <laughs> fuck are you stuck in traffic my ass <laughs> Somebody says, "What the hell? What the fuck is the drawing behind Jack? Is it? Are they talking about Slimer? Are or these? just like maybe the, the eyes? I don't, I don't know where all this. Shit I assume came somebody's from. kid made them or something. What's funny about this set is I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera. Um, the last time, you know, so we shoot all the the intros here for season one and two. Those are everything, long everything days, beyond dude. the pilot. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I sat down and I think I said this the last time we were here, and I was like, I looked at that tape in the VCR and I went, "Oh shit, is that Rugrats?" And yeah. I pulled out and it wasn't. And Ryan's like, "You're not the first person that said that." <laughs> and I was just excited. I, it's look, it's orange. Yeah. It's like all the Nickelodeon, Nickelodion yeah. tapes were orange. I like this. What is they it? were orange. There's, there's a Hollywood videotape. Someone didn't return. This. Maurice wow. Sendak's oh, Little City, Bear, it, Little Bear's Band. Little City Bear of was, Angels. Well, City Little of Bear Angels. Was on Anybody want to watch Nick Cage so and Meg Ryan? <laughs> what is that? No. City of Angels. Oh shit. T doesn't, she dies. Spoiler. Meg Ryan dies well, in that movie. Yeah, she, He becomes well, human, he's an angel, and he falls in love with her. I mean, angels are technically ghosts, and right? And he goes through the lengths, he meets Dennis Franz in a diner, and he's just fucking eating. He's like, mwah, 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 and he's stuffing his face, and he's like, I fucking love being human, I'm a fat piece of shit, yeah. I love eating it. And he's like, I want to be a human too. Then he becomes human, and then she dies. Yeah. How did that it's one get mixed in with this bunch? Dark, we got huh? Killers dark. from Space, yeah, The oh, Omen, the Alien thing. Resurrection, The Devil's Backbone, and City of Angels. Oh, Devil's yeah. Backbone is good. City of Angels is yeah. good, though. We got Return of the said, Jedi down there. Awful. E. Nice. It's been a while we since I've seen it. We have Alien Nation. Oh, Isn't that dinner. the plot of Meet Joe Black as well? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, that's yeah. he's no, death, no, 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 right? No, I never saw no, it. No, 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 no. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah. Coming yeah. for the his, father. But his parents left him at the Grand Canyon in in the trash. Right. Yes. yes. Is what happened in Joe Dirt. Is that what you said? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Meet Joe, Joe Dirt. Dirt. Sure. Yeah. 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 There's Joe a Dirt one was a good. I tried to watch Joe Dirt too. I Joe Dirt one was good. No, I couldn't make it twenty minutes. It was in. not. Joe Dirt? Joe Dirt was awesome. No, Joe she's Dirt saying one Joe awesome. Dirt 1. No, oh, Joe no, Dirt's great. He got the wig fused to his head. Yeah. When he yeah. was born. He surgically fused it to his <laughs> head. Joe, Joe Dirt was the other great. one that, the, what was the other one he did? The, I'm going to watch it again. 
Uh, Dickie Roberts. Dickie Roberts' child. This is knocking futs. Those two movies are fucking. Joe Dirt was better than that, but yeah. yeah. Joe Dirt. This where he has like the. He thinks he has a meteorite, and it's just a giant. Yeah, it's a turd. Yeah. 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 Yeah, He's like he's carrying it around like Like a a radio flyer. Yeah. Yeah. Poor poor Joe Dirt. I saw David Spade do stand up recently. He was really fucking good. Yeah. I don't associate him with stand up. Yeah, you guys are on a Jim Gaffigan kick, huh? Mm-hmm. It's just like a stand-up kick. Yeah. 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 Jim Going Gaffigan, them all. And Demetri Martin, and Jack Black pretty much formed my like comedic sense, so I'm really glad to be going back through. We, we did it chronologically. When did he, what was the first album that he had? What year? Oh, what year? It was like yeah. 2004? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't yeah. know when most it's, people It's just crazy convenient where it's like, oh, we should like go back and watch all his stuff. Oh, it's on iTunes. Bam. Yeah. <laughs> now I have it all. I watched mm-hmm. a shitload of stand-up this year getting ready for all the stand-up that we did for the documentary and then for an RTX. But then I've cooled off on it. I'll have to start up again because that'll be a part of Achievement Hunter Live, probably mm-hmm. to do like a stand-up component. So I'll have to start getting back into it. Adam Sandler has a new stand-up special on Netflix. Oh, oh did we make the announcement? On Netflix, you say? Yeah. <laughs> I, watched. <laughs> yeah. I watched 10 minutes of it. It's, it's fine. They've got, they've it really, Netflix has Adam Sandler in a, in a closet somewhere, right? And then they just kick him out every now and again. Yeah, a closet like, filled with money. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, he, he signed like a five-picture deal with those guys, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, did we signed did, a four picture deal, but he's already signed another one after that. Uh, did we made, we made the the Australia announcement, right? Like, oh yeah, they said they were going to shoot me some more info about that. Yeah, January twenty third, twenty fifth, twenty seventh in Australia. I think it's Sydney, Melbourne, Perth. Is it Perth. on here? Yeah, Jeff and I did a yeah. tremendous thirty second uh, promo that was about three oh, there minutes you go. long. Stream Hunter Live, RoosterLive Shoot it to me. We're taking pricing and details. So those of you who are curious, it there is it not is. Let's Play Live. This is entirely different. It's going to have similar elements, but it's going to be a lot different Plus. than uh, normal Hang on. Let's Play Live stuff. Jack, I got a perfect read for it here. Michael's going to tell you more about it. Hi, Michael. I chatted with Trevor and Steffi to discuss promotion around the AH Live Tour in Australia. If possible, it would be great if the tour was mentioned so on natural. Off Topic this Friday, so October 26th. Yeah. Uh, Jeff Ford. Jeff. <laughs> The first official announcement went out on the 23rd, and tickets will go live starting Monday, October 29th. Whoa! Australia time. So it'll probably be Sunday for us. AUT. Your show is in the sweet spot between the two dates, and it would be a great way to get more info out. Oh, the talking points are under that. I thought that was the talking points. Oh, it's, a th- no, it's the email. Oh, it makes more sense I shouldn't have read that part. You probably, you probably weren't that was all private that uh, communication. Visit Rooster Teeth Live, roosterteethlive.com. I went right for the dot. Yeah, yeah. The teeth. Got to put a live in there. Yep. Uh, for ticket pricing and more details, as Jeff said, show dates are January 23rd at the State Theater in Sydney, January 25th at the Palace Theater, Palace, I can't read, Theater in Melbourne, January 27th at the Perth Concert Hall. Oh, here's how you say Palace in case it's needed. And then there's a YouTube Pele. video. Pele. Oh, okay. Yeah. Pele. Really? There's a Pele. soccer player. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, this Pal Ace. Palace. Uh, this would be more of a lax conversation discussing the ROS so people get a better understanding of the show. The Ross. Return on sales? What? Yeah. Theater Mo Live. Gameplay. Comedy slash improv. Interstitials. Teasers or full clips. Parentheses. The Weird Place. Achievement Hunter? Off topic. On sale date. Monday, October 29th. 9 a.m., First RT box and previous RTX attendees pre-sale Thursday, November 1st for general public. Let me know if this is possible or if you have any questions. Thanks. You should respond and say Clarissa. General public was actually my commanding officer at Fort Hood. General public? Yep. Um, uh, I'm going to reply to her. Was that was that the last ad we had to read? No. Oh, okay. That Jack wasn't an ad. So that, was just, well, I know. that was just. Sorry, was, go eat. I, I was. No, I was gonna. I was gonna wait for a natural Hang break so I could talk about extra life stuff. Hang on. If McRib is back. I think I might have to go. I, I, I mentioned that. I want I'm the McRib. In and out today. I'm just. I'm replying, no, even no. though it's the Tyler. I don't think I've had a McRib. I, no question. No, wait, maybe I tried it last year. I'm quite biased, but I love them, and I understand that they're not real ribs, but I don't yeah. give a shit. I like I them. I'm 43 years old. I've never eaten a McRib in my life. You're 43, Ooh. Jeff? Well, that's amazing. Almost 50. Let me tell you about some things you can learn at the age of 43. <laughs> With 23 and me. What? It's 20 years younger than you, but you're still allowed to use it. I oh. use it already. 23 and me. Been using it for a I'm glad you year. used it. What's your heritage? I'm going to talk about your experience white. now. <laughs> you might get a million dollars. Jeff, you're white. That's super And white. you learn that on this episode of Off Topic because it's brought to you by 23 and me. 
Ever wonder where your family started or why you like some foods more than others? 23andMe is a DNA testing service that gets you in touch with your ancestry, health, wellness, and traits. The 23andMe Health Plus Ancestry service includes reports on how your DNA can influence your weight, your, sweet, your sleep quality, caffeine intake, sense of taste, whether you are likely to be lactose intolerant, and more. DNA can even play a role in determining your food choices, whether you love the sweet or salty, bitter. 23andMe's Bitter Taste Report can help you learn more about why you like certain foods. There's a lot of like interest, there's like a, you think, oh, my ancestry, and maybe some health stuff. There's like 500,000 pages of just like, I would be interested to know if I'm descended just, from bitter people. You just go and, 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 and go and go. And go. There's so many like, interest. Yeah, and they update it. Like, I get an email about once a week that's like, oh, hey, by the way, we just found out this about you. Yeah, because go they still got you. Life. They got your DNA, and they're are like, they, by the way, here's a bunch of new reports. Are you a dog yeah. person? Uh, here's why. Yeah. Can they make a new me if I die? Uh, I don't think they offer it yet, but they mm, might. They might future. be able to. Uh, their deep sleep report can tell you if you're more likely to be an especially deep sleeper. And the sleep movement report tells you how much you're likely to move during your sleep, all based on your DNA. Are you, are milk and cheese your enemy? Yes, they are. For me, I don't care. I eat them anyway. Uh, their lactose intolerance reports can shed insight into how your genetics may affect your ability to digest dairy products. Whatever you want to learn about yourself, it's easy to do. Order your 23andMe Health Plus Ancestry service kit today at 23andMe.com slash off topic. That's the number 23andme.com slash off topic. Learn your ancestry and some awesome health facts with 23andMe. I didn't realize I could just have shitty sleep genes. Yeah. You know, it's mm. something, yeah. you know, I... Milk and cheese are always paired together. Yeah. But you never Dairy drink brothers. milk and eat cheese at the same time. Uh, beg to differ. Like you never have like a glass <laughs> of milk <laughs> and, <laughs> and some Havarti. Yeah, yeah, you never she like, dunks her cheese uh, in and milk. Sure, why not? You get a <laughs> cheeseburger and a shake. I mean, when you I'll make this. when you make mac and cheese, you're putting you put the cheese powder in the milk in, and then if you use milk, well, yeah, that's water. That's just you're turning powder in back water. into cheese. Is all that's doing. I, yeah, I, yeah. I, yeah. I mean, you're Even, adding the dehydration process takes the milk out of it. I'm gonna put it throw back this in. out there. But you never have like a cheese plate and a frosty glass of milk. Oh, you never like the chef. Is I would from, die. I demand that we try that right now. I, well, Sarah's Good. gone, so we can't. Damn it. Uh, uh, if, even if that, even if it's yeah. real cheese, you know, I prefer the mac and cheese that's not the powder, you know, like the Velveeta, you know, squirt in cheese. That is it's definitely not cheese. real cheese. No, yeah. it's, it's not. realer than powder cheese, Ryan. Does I that, still add milk. Does I it, add butter and milk because I'm a uh, fat piece of shit. Wait, if you don't do that, though, does that still bother your uh, lactose intolerance? Yeah. So the, even the fake cheese, it's enough dairy. As long as it's dairy, yeah. Well, they can't. I don't know if it's dairy or not. I don't no, know what's in there. Can't they not is. legally market Velveeta? That's how they sell it anyway. It's not. It's, I think it's they like can't. yeah. I forget what the phrasing is. It's not cheese substitute, but it's something like that. Also, most real it's dairy adjacent yeah. needs to be refrigerated. <laughs> can't just live on the shelf forever. It's true. Yeah. That pouch. That'll well, be. I love, I love the those giant Velveeta blocks be. that are just like the the mm -hmm. you know the big ones you slice. You up. Well, that's how you make queso. Oh, oh. oh. Seal lover, you don't do that all the time. You don't pour a big glass of milk and sit next to a cheese plate with like nuts and pickled vegetables and then like four. What do you know to seal lover? And there's a card next to each part of cheese. You're no, like, also like cheese is from the southern. Here's a side quest. South, southern France, and it was. It's a terrible pairing. Yeah. yeah. What have you even done? What have you even done for seals? If That's you true. Love them so much. Seal lover. No, probably they probably don't. Can someone on crew bring me some milk and cheese, um, please? Ryan, you'll probably immediately agree <laughs> with this. See though. people I jumping drink. up like a Tyler <laughs> Stab running or in motion. He's literally running as fast as he can to it the is, kitchen. It's partly to find the baby cheese talking, and milk. It's also me. <laughs> I drank a lot of milk as a kid. I think most more kids drink milk than adults. Sure. Yeah. It's very much like yeah. strong bones and yeah. also like yeah. it's fatty, so like it's almost food. Like it'll fill you up. Like you get especially whole milk. It's like oh. We took Iris to the doctor a couple months ago, and it's like, put her on 2%. We don't and need to get fat. Yeah. Chunk, Jayden chunk just up. said, nothing quite like a gallon of milk in a bag of shredded cheddar. <laughs> yeah, dude, shredded cheddar, that's a meal right there. You just eat that. But I will that say. sounds like the next internet challenge. Yeah. I, now, I now drink more milk and eat more cheese and everything else than ever when she doesn't finish it. I'm like, well, I'm going to eat that. It's got DHA in it. So, it's good for your brain. Kids, like, so, you give her the milk and she drinks, like, almost all the milk. It's like, well, that's, I'm going to drink that milk. So, Michael, speaking of milk, uh, Katie came up with an idea for Extra Life this year for you and Gavin. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. So she wants to do an experiment. Where's my beer? Oh, here it is. In my pocket. <laughs> she wants to do an experiment where both of you guys drink uh, a gallon of milk. Oh, we did that. And then, like, two or three shots of chocolate milk, like, chocolate milk mix. Like the chocolate, you know, the, 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 the Hershey syrup. Yeah. 
and then one of you, probably Gavin, will like shake him up oh, and God. make him jump up and down like a little mini tram. And chocolate. then yeah, but then one of you sit there and don't move and see if it comes out as chocolate milk. Mm. You can do that. That All sounds right. horrific. Yeah, yeah, it does. Again, especially but it's for, for me, the it's kids. Like, Wasn't it colored last food. time? We we dyed it. Yeah. But, I mean, we dyed it before it went in, though. Did he right. both do milk, about... or was that only Gavin doing milk no, and you did beer? Was... Really? No, those are two different things. We did. We both did a gallon of milk. Yeah. We dyed it red and green, and then we also yeah. did the. I did the hundred <laughs> shots of beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did milk. Yeah, he did milk. Yeah. He, did, yeah. he made it way further than I thought he would. Yeah, he did. Is he that did good? It's, what kind of cheese is that? Is that what chocolate yeah, milk and it's something it's with a rind? It's cheese. Yeah, and it's it's manchego. Not new. Is it new? It's, it's manchego, aged six months. Is it still sealed though? It's not. Aged All right, definitely not new if it's aged six months. But you need to make sure it's got teeth marks in it. Oh God. That's never stopped. Also, if it's like right, like that is those are teeth marks. It's yeah, close. That's, like, I don't know. Yeah. Cheese is this? Yeah. that's a brittle cheese that could just break. Yeah. No, that's definitely uh, someone bit I mean, into I, it. I mean, yeah. Somebody, yeah, but also somebody, who was sucking yeah. on it? You better make was sure. It? It was it? Tyler, was that you? I was just gonna say yeah, we gotta make sure it's pasteurized cheese. Dennis's cheese? Okay. Did he bite it? Who is Dennis? <laughs> that's every kind of with you on that yeah. one. I don't. <laughs> I don't know who is Dennis a clean person? He didn't bite it. <laughs> There's someone's laughing about that. I don't Eric, know. Eric's over there laughing. There's a thousand people who I, I don't milk, know that work here so now. I'm good. Good but you keep not knowing Dennis well, every hey, week. But speaking of extra Wait, life, so who is it? He's come up before. He works in broadcast. He okay. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Bullshit, Dennis. Speaking of extra life, get forensics involved. You got a mouth at your desk. Yeah. Wait, so call your mom. Damn get the, we need an odontologist. There's nothing to be. Yes. There's nothing to feel bad at. It's your cheese. You can eat it however you want to. But don't stand here and try to bullshit us and it's, tell us that it's, true. it's nacho the cheese. Fucking sky's yeah. not blue. Uh -huh. Also, so, hey, Jack, uh, chocolate milk comes from brown cows, so you're expecting that's true. Won't work. That's true. That, that won't work at all. So we'll give it a shot. Taking off huge chunks. Uh, hey, this is extra life. Yes. <laughs> this week or this this upcoming weekend, November third and fourth, we have the RT Community Stream, which is going to be super awesome. We have 25 different teams from all over the planet uh, representing Rooster Teeth during the Extra Life Game Time Stream. Um, we've got some merchandise, some exclusive merchandise. Uh, if you go to, they're freaking out about the post. Oh, they're they freaking can, out. They yeah. know. They're yeah, like, I've got, I've got something to show here in just a second. Uh, and so that's going to be November third and fourth, from eight a.m. Central till eight a.m. Central, twenty-five hours because we jump back because of uh, daylight savings time. Fuck. But we've got twenty-five different teams. Then the next weekend, November tenth and eleventh, that's going to be the big Rooster Teeth Extra Life stream, We're trying to raise one point two five million dollars in twenty-four hours, one and a quarter million dollars. So. Holy crap, that's going to be really tough, but we know you guys can do it. Um, it's uh, really exciting. If you go to extralife.roosterteeth.com, I don't know if it's up yet, but that's where all of our Extra Life stuff will be. Jack, can anybody watch that? Anyone can watch it. It's going to be available on, I think, YouTube. We're going to put it on Rooster Teeth. I think we're putting it on Twitch as well. Like We're hitting the, the full gamut because we're trying to raise money for kids. So uh, We've got exclusive merchandise for that. We have a new pin set. We have like another set of the Pokemon badges. We have the, the Wheel of Vengeance pin. We've got a new shirt. And I've got the poster here. Oh, so, I'm so excited about this fucking poster. This yeah, is, they're busting oh, nuts. Rebecca says people stay on a poster. Mm -hmm. So oh, this is she the stands everything. Oh. The, uh, your hair looks anything. great. The extra life poster from this year. Let me see if I can get it out. Get it out so we can get a reveal. There's here. there's a few of them. Actually. Whoa, yeah, there are. So uh, yeah, so this year's poster it's the uh, chief, or it's the Rooster Teeth Hotel. And uh, here, let's see. Yeah, it's very so, Wes Anderson. -y. Clear the, yeah, clear the set. And so Steven Zissou or here it is right here. Oh, Budapest shit. Hotel. Voila. And so it's got all sorts of different things, different theming from different areas of Rooster Teeth. We've got broadcast, we've got live action, we've got Achievement Hunter, all the Let's Play partners and stuff. And uh, this this will be available for ten bucks at uh, on the store, and all the prof the profits from this will go to Rooster Teeth's donation to Extra Life. So uh, yeah. Where are be... we, Jack? Can you point to us? Uh, we are in a couple spots. It looks actually. like here. That's the shit. So yeah, here, you know? here's the achievement hunter office. Uh, Michael and Gavin. Uh, here's the off-topic set right hey! there. Michael and Gavin are getting hit by paintballs. I'm all over a, the few, place. a few people are in them multiple times. Like, you can't really like make out specific faces, but you know. You get the gist. You get the yeah. idea. Um, there's Edgar down at the bottom, which nice. is pretty awesome. Uh, As always, tons else? of little Easter eggs. But yeah, cow chops in there. Funhouse. Got the Jidlock like, guy on the left holding the building up. Yeah, and like, then we've got like all like the different like sort of the. Who's climbing the Who's climbing the building on the rope? I'm not that sure. Oh, here you go, Jeff. You want to look at a poster? There's one for you. See. Is that Is that a grappling hook? Who is that? Uh, there, is, there's some fun Easter eggs though, like 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 Jeff was saying throughout the whole thing. But it's a really really awesome Treasure poster. Treasure chest. There's a chest down there. Yeah, it's There's pretty awesome. This, this is the uh, the tenth anniversary of of Extra Life, and so it's like the seventh major Extra Life that Jack. Rooster Teeth has done. Do you know who designed this poster? Uh, this was Tobin. So Tobin. There you go. Yeah, Tobin. He made, to last, Tobin. He, made, he made last year's as well. Which who is designed? Is one of our 
one of the Hang most on. talented Six, artists at Rooster Teeth, yeah. of many talented artists, has done a lot of the Jeff merchandise. Has done. He did mm -hmm. the poster last year. Is it Tobin Lee, I think, is yeah. the last. Yeah. Did this. Yeah. Did this guy. He did the GTA Five poster. Yeah. For you guys. It's like that. Everyone's just holding him backwards away from the camera. <laughs> I'm, I mean, looking I'm looking at it. They got to look at it. Now I'm looking yeah, at my it. Turn. And so I haven't I'll, seen I'll, it yet. I'll post a journal with some more kind of highlighted bits of it so you can see it. So well, there's uh, the no. That's oh, yeah. Jenkins. That's the Jankster. It's super, super awesome. We're very, Jenkins. very happy with it. And uh, yeah, and don't forget, we're gonna have, uh, we're still working on trying to get like an exclusive, like uh, the Rooster Teeth Hotel, the Crown Rooster Captain Hotel Throne merchandise Throne. and whatnot, like but it. we'll have some stuff, so. Fun times. Nice. I'm, I'm excited Poster. for it. This oh, is... there's me getting tased. Look, yeah. Yeah. that's me getting tased. Michael getting tased down and there. And that, that looks like uh, Gavin throwing up in a trash can. I don't know if that is him. But yeah, we've got, uh, Gavin or... we've got Matt playing Woo! guitar in there. We're not hurt, be Chad, really hurting maybe? for people throwing up in a trash can. No, it could yeah. be anyone. Yeah. could be any white male. And then there's, there's, I think that's Lawrence without a shirt on. I don't know. There's, there's a lot of fun stuff in could there. Could also be any fun. Oh, is this no, Bob no. Ross? This Bob Ross yeah, painting Bob Ross. right there? So this is like the Extra Life area. So it's like general Extra Life stuff. Um, Somebody's taking a dump. Yeah. On yeah. the bench. Someone's pooping. Better be some mac and cheese. But yeah, there's the no, there's How's cow shop, going? there's game it's attack. Awesome. Yeah. There's Sugar Pine Cheese 7 vaping and filling up the room with vape yeah. smoke. Yeah. What kind is it again? Uh, yeah. All right. Asiago? That's pretty awesome. Exciting. Oh, Asiago. No, my so, shake. Dude. You're going to want to grab at least one of these. And again, these are only available for 24 hours during the actual stream. So if you don't get it when it's up, it's gone. And we print these to order. So if you like, they're not going to sell out. We're not going to sell out of these. If you want to buy them, you're going to get one. We're going to do our damage to get it to no, you. No, they're quick as limited item, and you should buy them as fast as you can. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Good call. I uh, we were cleaning out our garage recently. We still are, but I found a poster or a poster tube filled with fucking maybe like four or five the OG X Men. Oh, I love like, that. Oh, they're in condition, and almost all of them. I think I've got like four of them, and three of them are signed by all of us. Oh, really? Got every signature on there. Wow. I'm selling them. So yeah. If you're looking, eBay. You know, <laughs> eBay. Michael mm -hmm. underscore Michael Jones. And so I also, if, if you want to send anything to Extra Life for us to use, like we're always looking for, um, you know, like the one chip challenge chips and stuff. You can send it to Extra Life slash Jack. Hurry Patillo, up, though, if you're gonna. Nineteen one East Fifty First Street, Austin, Texas seven eight seven two three. And uh, make sure you don't put Awu on there. If you put Awu on there, what? it's gone. Put Extra from Life on it. We'll put Extra Life Jack Patillo, and it'll come to me directly, and I'll go through it, and we'll try to in incorporate whatever we we get. It's always nice to be like, oh, we've got a mound of one chip mm. challenge chips. Like, was it you who did the McRib one chip challenge? Or there's someone, someone yeah, put. Oh uh, uh, yeah, I showed up with a bunch of McRibs. Well, well, I someone put. put a, a yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, I did but that. It was pretty fun watching you know, like people's reactions to the one chip challenge. Like Caden took it like a champ. Like Caden, she she just swallowed it like nope, that was nothing. And I was like, how the fuck? You see other people Tough crying nails, on the yeah. floor. Those nails, like Caden. Yeah, but like she, upset, yeah, she yeah. walked yeah. off stage. <laughs> That's true. That's actually <laughs> replaced yeah. like like Elvis. Like we were replaced Elvis. Mm -hmm. Is anyway. it cool to so, see what I want to do for extra life? November 10th and 11th. Secret? You can talk about it. You gotta have I, I don't know what you're doing. So, I am. You're gonna do a live I'm ultrasound, right? Oh, yeah. Fucking yeah. <laughs> oh lord. Um, so I've been talking to Katie Don't. about it, but I've been making like drawings to people to Cheap and Hunter, usually just for like, five, I'll do like five minute marker drawings. They're really shitty, but they're funny. Um, so I'm gonna do it on set and draw what's happening, fill up the entire sketchbook, because I'm pretty close already, have you guys sign it, and then we will be giving it away. Sweet. Oh, that's a good idea. We'll auction it off. Is what yeah, we'll, exactly. yeah, yeah. we'll raise exactly. money for it. Also, for some reason, people keep asking, even though we said it's Manchego cheese. Oh, man, Manchego. I don't know Manchego. what that is. I've never, I don't think I've ever had it. Okay. I like this it's combo. Just like yeah. a hard cheese. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's good. Hit me with a bit. It didn't have oh, yeah. like a Do you want the bitten bit? strong flavor. It's, 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 I swear it's, 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 it's not bitten, but we know it. I see I see a lot of people asking about Achievement Hunter the Musical. Uh, a, a bunch of the songs are written. We're still working on it. I'm gonna do my, oh my absolute damnedest to get it out oh before the actual uh, Extra Life this year. We'll at least have two or three songs available during Extra Life this year. Oh, God. And I and but, you guys yeah. are you guys are doing Cloudberry Monday. We're doing Cloudberry on Monday. Oh, and this cooking with Jeff Monday. and Gav and special guest somebody else is Holy shit. almost done editing. There were some really serious yeah. sound problems. Yeah. This and we can't. It was like people don't realize like how like people can talk about you just shoot it with an iPhone. Uh, nobody would be happy with that product. So we had everybody, we had a 25 person crew to make it, had to all devote and volunteer their time and effort yeah. to make it. it. Plus you had to take those cooking classes. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, but there's some sound problems with it, so we're yeah. they're working through that. Kent's fixing it, but it's gonna come out soon too, and then that'll be it, right? Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be it. So, Dude, yeah. but like the, the musical stuff, I like I. It's one of those things where we could pound out something and have it done and just be be crappy, but I want to make it right, and I know that might take more time, and I apologize for that. I'll take full responsibility for that, but we are going to have achievement hunter the musical, <laughs> and it's gonna be awesome. I promise you. So, Jack, 
I'll be in it. Michael's gonna be in it. I'll do it. I, the, the first song I wrote, like, is Gavin the, in it? Uh, Gavin, yeah, everyone. Does he say it. he's gonna do it? Yeah. Huh. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's the thing. It's like all the songs. The first song I wrote that I was like actually really happy with, I wrote for Ryan, and it's 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 really. Gavin's really such a uh, Gavin's so difficult when it comes to singing stuff. He's like he does, never wants to do it. Well, this Gavin's is something. Also... I'm, I'm gonna basically what I'm gonna do. Is I'm gonna sing. I've, I'm singing all the songs so you can get the the pit, like the pitch and rhythm of it, and then I'm giving it to whoever it is. I mean, like if you need to alter it in any way, you can. And then they'll record it, and then I'm working with the JT Music guys. Basically, I'm gonna send them my version of it so they can work on the music, and then put in the real version of it. Gotcha. And then they'll they'll finish it all off. So yeah. Gavin's also like you described Gus with content. I think he's a little easier to to, to pin down, but like you know something'll come out and go, Gavin will never do that. And they'll do it. And it'll yeah. be like, well, wouldn't do that? I love this. And it's like, well, just on the other 97 things that you refuse to do. That you said <laughs> Gus is, can like, be so confusing about that. Gavin. Yeah. Gavin is worse. Yeah. Well, Gavin Where was like just, that. He was like that on the Let's Play Live. Show. He was like that with the rap, like, with like, Jeremy's rap, and then he's like, "Well, I never said I wouldn't do it. I love yeah. it." He's like that with Australia. He's like, like with he, everything. He announced he's going to be in Australia when Ryan and I did the promo. I didn't know he was going to be in there. the promo. You're like, "Are you going?" He's like, "Yeah, why wouldn't I go?" It's like, "No, just because you probably said you just weren't going." Just because you all, because you, yeah. 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 Because of you, well, everything that you said. I didn't say that. Because you're a vegetable, and we can't bring you into foreign countries. Yeah, yeah. and he is foreign. Which is weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, Montego. Yeah, like that. That Let's Play Live tour. I don't it's know, very like Parmesan. He literally just showed yeah. up and was like, I'm yeah. here. Yeah. Everybody was like, what the fuck? Yeah, are we you assumed doing? that Gavin wasn't going to be able to do it. Uh, who are you? And then he showed up and he's like, this is a lot of fun. Like, <clears throat> he's, like, he's like, I'd take the bus back to Austin if I could. And it's like, what? It, like, huh, okay. Awesome. And so, but yeah, he does uh, that. I'm going to hit up the restroom because uh, my kid has kicked my bladder like six times nice. in the last 10 minutes. Well, the problem is. So uh, do that. Is it the cheese? <laughs> yeah, you're not lactose intolerant, but the kid is oh, half my. Oh, I hope not. I like like, what are you doing to me? I hope can, you, not. can you zoom in on Ryan's like upper oh, mustache? No, some... He's got like cheese yeah, all in his mustache. Yeah. Mm. How's that? Uh, like, how was how was how'd you, how'd you like it? How, yeah, how'd you like it? How was the cheese? Mm. It's how great. Was uh, that was delicious. For eating Violent the food tea. of a person yeah. that I still don't know who it is. Um, <laughs> Dennis. Dennis. He knows the name. Thanks for the name. The cheese, Dennis. It's uh, good. It's tune in what? next week when there Ryan is, goes, who are you? Yeah. That's Dennis. him sitting next to Michael. Thanks, Dennis. <laughs> That's some good cheese. Uh, it's a lot like Parmesan. I like it. Yeah, yeah it's like a I've hard I've been eating cheese. a lot of Parmesan lately. It's like a hard You've been cheese. eating just Parmesan. I, well, I started buying like the legit real Parmesan. Degraded? Not what is graded. the starting oh, time for Cloudberry? Oh. Starting time for Cloudberry is 9, 9 a.m. Central th nine Standard to Time. 9 to 3. Yeah, we're doing a six-hour stream, and we're not going to beat any level. No, there's no way we're yeah. We have contingency. And while yeah, you guys are doing that, I think about. I'm doing sports ball or something. Yeah, we're, we're spending, I'm spending the rest of today making sports sure we can get it up and running because we haven't. That's like, also a thing. It's a 360, and we haven't plugged Tune it. Tune in for the so. first hour where we try to beat level 319, and then we find something else to do for the next five hours. Yeah. Right? While Jack keeps while I playing, sit there just and then me, Gavin, world. and Ryan are just in the background doing something. Yeah, we, talk, we talked about being able to keep the Cloudberry theme going, so we'll see. Did it? Any of yeah. you guys watched the Celtics under game last night? Oh, absolutely. Like Celtics won. Yeah, they did. Barely. The Celtics? Fucking, it was. Now? I only know that because Janessa, my PA from uh, from RT, oh, from RTX, she's a huge Celtics fan. And she oh, was really? At, she was at the game. So. Oh, yeah. Right back on the it was uh, Some left in there. It was touch and go. But Celtics finally looked like a team for the third and fourth quarter. It was amazing. Well, fourth quarter. But, uh, it's been a rough season. Not like, not like, uh, not like Houston Rockets or yeah. Oklahoma City Thunder or, or Lock, Cleveland Cavaliers the rough. But it's been rough. Or yeah, like Lakers rough. But it's, it's been rough for the Celtics. Yeah. So, all right. But yeah, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Central. You Monday. Can watch. What day? What Monday. Is that, 29th. Uh, same day the tickets are available for uh, for Australia That's, for yeah. Achievement Hunter Live. I will say too, Achievement Hunter Live. Who's who? So who is going to Achievement Hunter Live? Uh, Jeff, Jack, Ryan, Jeremy. Uh, Gavin. Alfredo, Gavin, and Trevor, I think. I think that's that sounds right. The seven. I believe that's the list. Yeah. Lindsay and I will not be going. We would love to go, but We've got that, some stuff for that baby's be. coming soon. Yep. So she definitely can't fly that far. Yeah. And I can't really fly that far, and then the kid's gonna pop out while I'm gone. You so. don't you wanna be, be, that's you wanna be good dad and husband. Yeah, I wanna you be, be kid. I'll never be good, but you I can't. You wanna meet I your kid try. when the world meets your kid. Yeah. Just, I could try. You can be present. Yeah, I can be present. I'll be there like mm -hmm. You don't you don't wanna like FaceTime with your kid yeah. while you're in So that's why we won't be there. We would love to go. It's the first trip we're missing to Australia Australia in like four years. I know we've been five years. Actually. We've been yeah. sucking a lot of achievement haunter dick lately because it's coming out soon. That's like the new hotness. Yeah. But this does this tour's a big deal for us. Yeah. This tour, if this tour does well, there might be more like it. Yeah, because we, so. like, the, the grim reality is, as much fun as Let's Play Live is, and as much as everyone likes to do it, and, and the fact that it has turned a profit, but it is very time and labor intensive, and it requires a tremendous amount of staff, 
and talent, talent, and it makes a little bit of money, yeah. but it's it's so disruptive that the idea that we're going to do Let's Play Live Tours again, it could happen, but it's certainly not a focus yeah. because it's just so disruptive. Yeah, take, taking Achievement Hunter and like Funhouse or one of the other groups away from their office for like a week and a half to do a tour, it's like, that puts a huge dent in productivity. Yeah, it is really, it's really hard. So with the live show thing has kind of been an evolution for us over the years. This is the latest iteration of that. I'm not saying we'll never do a Let's Play Live again. We definitely will. We'll hopefully do them as attachment events to RTXs like we did in Austin this year. I think that went really well. Yeah. Um, and maybe they'll be like, a, if somebody wants to give us a billion dollars to do a Let's Play Live tour, we'll do it. But Achievement Hunter Live might be the way we do live stuff in the future. It's like, like kind of like a Let's Play Live light with other elements mixed in. So. Yeah. You have something to say? Michael? How did she get in? Not through the window. Oh, shit. She climbed the rope ladder in the front. I didn't realize that was an option. All right, I didn't want to tell you. There's I a operated. Name. It's oh, right okay. over there. You walked yeah. right in. Yeah. Like, like, like we're on the floor. So I'm, a, I'm a witch. Here. I operated here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. As soon I was as just, we get past Hunter, we're going to be like, Ooh. I was just saying how it's your fault we're not yeah. going to Achievement Hunter Live and everyone should oh, yeah. blame you. True. Well, you did half the work, so, yeah. But if people, hopefully people like it, and we do a good job and it's fun and, uh, and it's like, this is designed to be a lot more reproducible yeah. and tourable. Yeah, you're not going to see like eight stations up on stage or anything like that. It's going to be a lot a lot simpler. But yeah. It's just like a cardboard box. Yeah, yeah. it's going it's to be, we're just going to roll a TV out. It'll and be a play hole in It's it. not going to be like, there's a lot of other people that don't do live shows time. that are just like, it's just like them with the three mics and a couple table chair, like yeah, chairs, yeah. like more podcasty type. It's not going to be that, No, but it's not going to be, yeah, it's not going to be eight stations. And lights and sounds and smoke. Two spider and switchers yeah, and the yeah. whole thing. It'll yeah. be somewhere but in between. It's going to be lots of fun. Tickets for that will be available on sale on Monday. And then you can buy your tickets while watching the uh, Cloudberry live stream. It's I'll true. Save the dance I had planned for Let's Play Live for the next Let's Play Live. There we go. Even more intense, which I already had to, like, tone down because of the pregnancy, the one that I did at RTX. Again, that was, like, going man. back to the Lindsay Freak Show <laughs> thing. We talked about her at Haunter, like, her backpack. Her prep for that fucking dance with the trash bag. <laughs> was like days she was like buying like she did like some walmart runs she Dude. bought that trash bin it's still in her house it's in her garage she made all the garbo family she choreographed the whole fucking thing i'm like you know this bit's like three minutes long and she was yeah. like yes. don't question my art like, oh that's right somebody's right. Did my we, life. christ did we announce there's gonna be pop-up stores too uh, yeah, somebody, no, I, don't I think, think so. you just did. No, somebody asked about it like, like they knew about it already. Whoa, so yeah, there's, Jeff! There's, oh. I'm pretty sure there'll be pop-up stores. Oh. And it'll be Jeff stuff, but I think there'll be Roost, uh, Chima Hunter stuff there too. I'm not, yeah, I shouldn't probably. say that. I think that there'll be uh, stuff there. Will Cloudberry be streamed on the site? Yes, it'll be streamed on RoostGeek.com. I think that's where the stream will be, but we'll tweet about it. And it's not going to be first paywall. It'll be yeah, for anyone, anybody, um, but it'll be on the site. Also, I don't know if anybody asked, uh, but Trevor is having some real plumbing problems today. Oh, is, is he? He's updated several times. You mean it's like interior plumbing problems? Or he like said house? his house, but like he he slacked. But your, but your body is like your brain. He house. slacked early, like I'll be late plumbing, and he's given several updates, like s That's still at it. Amazing. So like, he still he said either, still held up with the plumber longer than anticipated. Is, we'll be in when I can. This is what I'm guessing: either Trevor destroyed it, or like Barbara came over. But Barbara probably was yeah. like, "Here's a list of chores I need you to do today." Mm -hmm. And he's like, but I washed your car yesterday. And she gave, she gave him the, the Barbara look. Barbara was she like, goes like this. she goes, you know what she said? He's like, I'll wash it twice. She's like, you don't know how much fucking poutine I ate last night. Mm -hmm. And Tim Hortons. <laughs> and Tim Hortons. Coffee makes you poop. The, the poutine in the Hortons goes right through you. See ya. She showed up to work on time, ready to go. Well, yeah, because because she's left holding the bill. She can make it to work on time because it's always like, Charles, I was like, I'm going to be a few minutes late today. I got to pick up Barbara's dry cleaning. That's I'm going to be a few minutes late today. I got to get, I got to go grocery shopping for Barbara. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> it's good, good to have you. Bye. Hunter, Wednesday. Goodness.